Hell Assassination vs. Dugu Bo Chindun vs. Bibi Dong. Tian Zhao vs. Qian Dao Flo. Reincarnation of Dirty Soil vs. Martial Soul Hall. Dark Sword Demon vs. Deep Sea Demon Whale. What kind of sparks will be ignited when the brilliant ninjutsu and League of Legends heroes descend into this world? This book is also known as, A Zuan Person Who Knows Ninjutsu and Wanders Through the Dolua Continent, Note. Single Female Lead. Ning Rongrong Only in the Early Stage with Tang Sanhun Keywords of the Novel. No pop-ups in Dolua's Random Lottery System, download the complete set of TXT in Dolua's Random Lottery System, and read the latest chapters in Dolua's Random Lottery System. Chapter 1. Shrek College. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Shrek College Jindo Empire, Seven Treasures Glass Sect, Seven Treasures Pavilion. Ning Fungji, after so many years, should others take on the position of the sect leader. The speaker is an old man in a black robe. And not far behind the old man was a group of murderous black-clothed men, about twenty or so, not many in number but each black-clothed man had no less than six soul rings around him. Among them, the two people standing behind the old man are second only to the title Doluo's soul Doluo. Looking at the scene in front of him, Ning Fengji not only had no fear, but also had no waves and no abnormalities. Ning Feng, is this the reason why you colluded with the martial soul hall? Just for the position of this mere leader. Humph, that's right. I really can't figure out why that old man who never died passed on his position to you back then. I'm even better than you. The black-robed old man let out a fierce smile, his wrinkled face filled with madness. Why? Looking at you now, I think my father's choice on the spot was the right one. Before Ning Fengji could finish speaking, he was interrupted by the old man in the black robe, my good brother, don't think about delaying time. Your Bone Rong and Chen Xian are struggling with the three martial soul hall masters, ahaha. Ah, ah. Looking at his brother laughing wildly in front of him, Ning Fengji, sitting in the patriarch's chair, felt a hint of sadness and regret. If he had known he had followed Chen Xin's advice and killed Ning Feng, such a thing would not have happened. Now the Seven Treasures Pavilion is surrounded by Ning Feng and his followers, and the two titled Dolua are both lacking in skills. What's even more ridiculous is that the other members of the Seven Treasures Glass sect are completely unaware of such a huge event. Is it true that the heavens are going to destroy my Seven Treasures Glass sect? Ning Feng sat paralyzed in his seat, as if in a desperate situation. Why? At this moment, a timid voice rang out in the vast pavilion. Everyone heard the sound and saw a little girl standing at a side door. The little girl was about eleven years old, with two white and tender hands tightly gripping the corners of her skirt. Her pink and jade face had a hint of timidity. At the moment of seeing the girl, Ning Feng, who was originally calm and calm, changed his face greatly. Rong Rong. Who asked you to come? Go out and leave the Seven Treasures Glass sect with Xiao Mu. The girl is Ning Rong Rong, the only daughter of Ning Fengji. She accidentally passed by this place, but accidentally broke into the barrier arranged by Ning Feng. Ning Fengji, this is your handle, right? If you had died in front of your daughter, it would have been so wonderful, ha ha ha. Ning Feng looked at Ning Rongrong in front of him, and a cruel thought surged into his heart. Ning Feng, what's up? You come to me. Don't harm the child. Ning Feng was furious and wanted to escape with Ning Rongrong, but the terror of the two soul Dolua suppressed him. He was also an auxiliary soul master and couldn't resist. Oh my, Fengji, don't be in such a hurry. Anyway, you're all going to die. Why don't you let your daughter feel the joy of being a woman before you die? It's right in front of you. Ha <laughs> ha. In the vast hall, Wild laughter echoed with Ning Feng's sinister and silver lust. Ning Feng, you pervert. Rong Rong is still a child. She's only ten years old. Ning Fengji's originally handsome face twisted and ferocious with anger, her eyes bulging, looking very terrifying. 
but the two Sol Dolua on the side easily suppressed him, no matter how hard he struggled, it was of no use, and he could only watch helplessly. Go, bring me that girl. I want my good brother to watch a good show. Under Ning Fang's instructions, two black-clad men rushed towards the panicked Ning Rongrong with expressions of silver desire. Hee hee, little beauty, come on. Ning Fong, I can give you the position of patriarch, and I'll let you handle it. Please let Rong Rong go, okay? Ning Fengji roared loudly. He didn't want to watch his daughter, who was as beautiful as a flower, be ruined. As long as Rong Rong could live, he didn't care about giving up anything. What was exchanged was Ning Fang's indifference and disregard. Just as the man in black was about to touch Ning Rongrong's body, variables appeared. Who gave your dog courage to move my sister? A handsome boy wearing a blue robe appeared next to Ning Rongrong, who was also around eleven years old, but revealed a hint of unusual maturity. The appearance of the boy unexpectedly interrupted the movements of two people in black. Seeing the boy's appearance, Ning Fengji once again ignited hope, Xiao Mu, hurry, hurry, take Rong Rong to run, the farther the better. Mu Feng. Just him. Ning Fengji, do you still hope for a great soul master now? Ning Feng looked at Mu Feng disdainfully, as if looking at an ant. Die. Waste. The figure of the black-clothed man flashed and instantly grabbed the boy's neck. As long as he exerted a slight force and bathed in the wind, he would be dead and lifeless. Am I going to die? Damn it! After only a few years of labor and capital travel, I'm going to die again. Rong Rong can't fall into the hands of these bastards. Disappointment and powerlessness spread within Mu Feng's heart, and just as he thought he was about to die again, a series of sounds sounded. Ding! The random lottery system is being bound. Successfully bound. The system will randomly trigger the task, and the host can receive a lottery number for completing the task. The lottery can receive any random item. Does the host win a beginner's lottery once? Use it, system, use it. Mu Feng thought as if he had grabbed some life.saving straw and shouted wildly in his heart. Extracting. Congratulations to the dormitory for obtaining. Eternal Nightmare. Magic Tang, summoning card, with a time limit of three minutes. Martial Soul. Right Will Eyes. Mu Feng, who was choked by the man in black, showed a strange smile. Suddenly, a palm-sized card appeared between his right finger, and the pattern inside was. Eternal Nightmare. M.O. Tang, kill them for me. Before Ning Feng could start mocking again, the originally brightly lit hall began to slowly darken, and black mist began to appear, slowly solidifying beside the Mu Feng. For every minute the black mist solidified, the light dimmed. What kind of monster is this? Extracting all the nightmares that linger in the conscious mind and merging them into a demonic entity, this is known as the existence of the demon totem, which has become a pure evil primitive force. Its appearance is unpredictable, with a pair of cold eyes open in a face less black shadow, and a pair of terrifyingly shaped blades on both sides of its body. Shua, the black-clothed man in front of Mu Feng was cut off by a blade, and blood sprayed out like a fountain. Jie Jie Jie, it seems you have some trouble, summoner. Except for the one sitting on the chair, there's no one left. Mu Feng's whole body was covered in the bloodstains from earlier, looking like a demon crawling out of hell. Ning Rongrong was so scared that he fainted directly. Obedience. Nightmare's bloodthirsty eyes swept towards the frightened Ning Feng and others. Quan Tian and Quang Ya, I'll leave it to you. Ning Feng swallowed a mouthful and looked at the terrifying creature, pushing out the two Sol Doluo. He was about to run away as soon as something unexpected happened. What a waste! Quan Tian cursed inwardly, but now he remembered them. However, disdain returns to disdain, and my heart is still very uncertain because of the oppressive feeling brought by the creature in front of me. Even more terrifying than the 50,000-year-old demon giant Peng that their brothers had seen before. 
Jie Jie, embraced the darkness. Darkness surged in from all directions like a tide, and the already dim hall was instantly engulfed by darkness, pitch black and out of reach. Mo Teng has already begun his slaughter feast. Ah ah! What kind of monster is this? I can't see. I can't see. Wails and screams filled this space, as if at this moment, they were not powerful soul masters but a group of sheep chased by hungry wolves, lambs waiting to be slaughtered. Not long after, there was no more sound in the mysterious darkness. The killing was over, and the darkness gradually faded away. Along with them, one of the top ten demons from the Rune Continent, Mo Tang, also dispersed. The world returns to light, as the light once again shines into the spacious hall, illuminating a pungent smell of limbs, broken arms, and nausea. On the ground, there are arms, organs, bones, and so on, everywhere. The magnificent decoration is painted with crimson paint, and the whole world is a hell. An hour later, Ning Fengji summoned all members of the sect and briefly explained the three traitors, Ning Feng, who colluded with outsiders to secretly annex the seven treasures and glass sect, but failed. As for why it failed, who are outsiders? Faced with inquiries from other elders, Ning Fengji remained silent. Meanwhile, a group of emergency support teams consisting of at least level 70 soul power went to the location of Jian and Gu Doluo. A week later, all the forces of Ning Feng, except for the Martial Soul Hall, were uprooted by Ning Fengji. As for the Martial Soul Hall, Ning Fengji understood in his heart that if he wanted to overthrow such a huge creature, it was not yet time for revenge. If you can't bear it, you'll mess with big plans. Time flies, like a white horse passing by, a few months have passed in the blink of an eye. A man and a woman appeared on a rural path. The boy was dressed in a luxurious white robe, with long flowing hair and gentle like jade. His refined and refined face exuded an aging maturity that was not in line with his age. The girl was dressed in a light blue dress, and her unopened face revealed that she must be a beautiful woman in my heart in the future. Every move revealed a noble temperament. Miss Ning, aren't you ready to explain? Mu Feng said angrily as he looked at the tattered plaque in front of him, as if it was about to fall off. And this Shrek College is also built in a small village. Yes, you heard it right, it's not as big as a village yet. He really believed Ning Rongrong's lies and refused to go to the proper Tiendo Royal Academy, insisting on coming to this corner. Well, well. Let's go in and take a look first before we talk. Maybe he's not as bad as you think. Ning Rongrong looked guilty. How did she know that Shrek Academy was like this? She just heard people say that as long as Shrek Academy graduates, they can at least enjoy the treatment of an imperial viscount. She was also on the spur of the moment, and came with Mu Fong. Soon it was Mu Fong and Ning Rongrong's turn. The registration fee is ten gold soul coins, the old man replied impatiently. For such a long time, the two children whose martial souls were blue silver grass and rabbit martial souls just now are reasonable. What else are they? Mufan took out twenty golden soul coins and placed them in the box next to him. Extend your left hand. The old man pinched the bones of their hands. The boy has good physical fitness the old man praised. After practicing eight dunjia and strange power, the physical quality has already exceeded that of peers. It's strange if it's not hard. Mufeng roast in his heart. Not bad, the bone age is suitable. Let me take a look at the martial soul, the old man said satisfactorily. The seven treasures have turned out to have glass. Ning Rongrong's tan mouth opened slightly, and he saw a seven-story glass pagoda summoned out. The pagoda was shrouded in precious air, blooming with strange colors. The Legend of the Blade Six sharp blade brushes appeared with a sound, surrounding Mu Fong. The blade felt a sharp sensation of being cut by the blade just as it looked at him. The old man was first surprised, then frowned and said, Do your family know that you are here? It said that there is education without discrimination. 
Do you think my brother and I can go in? Ning Rongrong didn't answer, but instead smiled and said. Mu Bai, let's take the four of them inside. The old man didn't ask much as she didn't want to say anything. It's worth mentioning that a cold black-haired girl was also added along the way. Next. After undergoing a soul power test, Dai Mu Bai led Mu Fong and the others directly to the final level. During this time, Dai Mu Bai also explained the history of Shrek College. When they found out that there were only three students in the entire college, including Dai Mu Bai, everyone was surprised. This is really a bizarre college, Mu Fong smiled. What does quirky mean? Little Dance, dressed in pink, was curious. Everyone else also approached Mufeng a little, obviously wanting to know. Mufeng didn't expect the little ball to ask this question, and suddenly his head was covered in black lines. How can I put it, it's that kind of, that kind of, very special kind. All right, everyone, stop making things difficult for my brother. He has been saying words that others don't understand since he was young. After speaking, Ning Rongrong still had a disdainful expression on his face. Everyone suddenly realized and looked at Mu Fong with pitiful eyes. As if saying again. A pretty good child, why is he going crazy Mu Feng? When Xia Wu asked this question, everyone's relationship was actually pulled in quite a bit. It's here. Dai Mu Bai stopped and at this moment, they arrived at another open space, about 200 square meters, where a middle dot aged man who looked like he was in his forties or fifties was dozing off on a chair. Teacher Zhao, I brought someone to the fourth level assessment. Hmm. Did you actually reach the fourth level this year? Or were you five? The middle dot aged man opened his sleepy eyes and looked at the five young boys and girls in front of him in surprise, as if he had seen something incredible. Not only that, they were all exempted from the second and third levels and went straight to the fourth level for assessment, Dai Mubai said. Teacher Zhao jumped off the chair with a bright light in his eyes. It seems that you have all passed level 25 and are exempt from testing levels 2 and 3. Then I will personally play with you. My name is Zhao Wuji, and I am the examiner for your fourth level assessment. Zhao Wuji scanned everyone with a gentle gaze. After a pillar of incense, as long as one of the four of you still stands here, it will be considered that you have passed. From now on, you have time to discuss countermeasures for a pillar of incense, and the assessment after a pillar of incense will begin. Zhao Wuji's voice was not loud, but everyone could hear him clearly. After speaking, Zhao Wuji's iron tower-like body continued to stand on the chair with Guyu. Everyone felt that there was nothing wrong, but Dai Mubai looked solemn and said, come here a little bit. Four people gathered around. I didn't expect teacher Zhao to personally take action, Dai Mubai said with a solemn expression. This teacher Zhao is not like the teacher at the door, is he also a soul emperor? With our soul power approaching thirty, we should have no problem holding a stick of incense compared to Dai Mubai's solemn expression, Xiao Wu has a relaxed expression. It's not that simple, just think about it. The teacher at the entrance is obviously from the admissions office. Since all the teachers in the admissions office are soul emperor experts, the examiner in the final level should at least start between soul saint and soul dolu. Mu Feng analyzed calmly. Not bad, although teacher Zhao has an introverted aura, the technique of inserting incense just now can achieve extremely precise control of soul power. As the Mu Feng brother said, he is definitely a powerful soul master no less than the soul emperor. Tang San nodded in agreement with Mu Feng's statement book review. Book review. Book review. As a chatterbox, please chat. The author has updated the rules to ensure a minimum of two changes, adding one change to three comments, and adding one change to three recommended votes. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 1. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 1. I have to say, the technique of inserting incense just now. Wow, wow, this outfit has the smell of two pillars, as you two estimated, 
Teacher Zhao's martial soul is a powerful diamond bear, with a level 76 soul power, strong attack, and defense dual level soul saint. Get it. This is really a soul saint, he will definitely expose his strength in a moment. As long as it doesn't cause any trouble, it will be exposed sooner or later. Mu Feng couldn't help but smile bitterly in her heart. Teacher Zhao's martial soul is a powerful diamond bear, so his attack and defense are particularly outstanding, especially in defense. He also has a nickname in the college, called Budong Ming Wan. Originally, speed was Mr. Zhao's only flaw, but the difference in soul power between you is too huge. So for you, Teacher Zhao has no flaws, so the only way you can do it is through teamwork, and then. Dai Mubai continued. Then what, keep talking, are you in such a hurry? Xiao Wu said anxiously, jumping out of place. Fortunately, Tang San Yi grabbed her, otherwise she would have taken off in place. After all, his martial soul is a rabbit, with astonishing jumping power. Then what? Let fate take its course. Dai Mubai didn't say anything, just nodded silently. Zhao Wuji. Do not move the Ming King. Have I ever seen these two words somewhere? Mu Feng quickly searched for these two words in his mind and finally came up with a result. I, Zhao Gu, in society, don't speak too harshly. Can a group of people from the Martial Soul Hall run out of the surrounding area without being ruthless? That was still when he was in the Soul Emperor. I think it's better for you to give each other your names, abilities, and get to know each other. Let's wait a while and see how we can cooperate. Other than that, I can't help you either. I spread out my hands and expressed helplessness. Tang San took the lead in saying, My name is Tang San. I am a weapon, martial soul, blue silver grass, and a 29 level control level battle soul master. Xiao Wu saw Tang San speak and the second one spoke, My name is Xiao Wu, and my martial soul is a rabbit. I am a level 29 strong attack type soul master. Zhu Zhu Qing, the beast martial soul ghost spirit cat, the 27 level sensitive attack series battle soul master. The voice of the young girl with a childlike appearance and black hair sounded coldly. Ning Rongrong hesitated for a moment and looked at Mu Feng, who nodded. Ning Rongrong then spoke up, Ning Rongrong, the seven treasures of the martial soul glass pagoda, is a level 26 auxiliary soul master. Just call me Rongrong. Mu Feng, the legendary blade of martial soul, controlled at level 27, can strongly attack dual series battle soul masters. There is no way, but during the lottery, Crown Prince Ming's shadow clone was not drawn to activate the hanging spell. In addition, practicing soul power and chakra at the same time, as well as various ninjutsu skills, even if it is innate full soul power, level 27 is already very extreme. It's so difficult for me. Are you from the Seven Treasures Glass sect? exclaimed the Forcing King of Guyu in the distance, cough. No, Teacher Zhao. The others exclaimed in surprise. Actually, there's no difference between me and ordinary people. My brother and I escaped from home, Rongrong said with a cute little tongue. My martial soul is the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda, which can increase everyone's strength and speed by 30% each, and there is no problem with a continuous stick of incense there is an auxiliary soul master of the Seven Treasures Glass sect, and everyone has some confidence in their hearts. Tang San thought for a moment and said, All right, Mu Feng and I are responsible for controlling and restraining Teacher Zhao's attack. Xiao Wu is the main attacker, Zhu Zhu Qing. Could you please use your speed advantage to restrain Teacher Zhao? We both create attack opportunities for you, and Ning Rongrong is responsible for assisting the three of us. Do you have any further questions? Xiao Wu and Ning Rongrong nodded, and Zhu Zhu Qing glanced at Tang San before nodding slightly, agreeing to his suggestion. The seven treasures turned out with glass. Her body spun around in place, and a dazzling rainbow light was immediately released from her body. At the point where the rainbow light condensed, Ning Rongrong saw an additional rainbow pagoda in her right palm, which was over a foot high. 
The precious light flickered, and the noble aura was pressing. Ning Rongrong had a smile on his face, and he looked as ethereal as a fairy. Two yellow soul rings rose from her feet and quietly circled around her. The seven treasures are famous for their power. The first soul ring rises and envelopes the seven-colored pagoda. With the guidance of Ning Rongrong's left hand, three colorful lights are released simultaneously, covering the bodies of Mu Feng and the others. Suddenly, a warm energy poured in from their four limbs, and the three of them felt their whole bodies filled with strength, even their soul power surging up like boiling. Zhao Wuji looked at Ning Rongrong with some surprise and said, Wow, one of the candidates this year is from the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Not bad, not bad, the old ghost friend must be excited this time. As he spoke, the incense in his hand had already been ignited and he casually threw it into the ground. The seven treasures are famous, and the second one is speed. Three colorful lights floated out, and Ning Rongrong's second soul ring also played a role. The lightness of his body made Tang San feel as if his body had lost its weight, and he secretly admired it. The Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda truly lived up to its reputation and was truly the first martial soul of the auxiliary system. Both speed and strength increased by 30%, instantly making him feel that his strength had greatly increased. At this moment, Zhao Wuji moved and did not charge towards Tang San and the four of them, but squatted with both legs and smashed his fists towards the ground at the same time. Not good. With a flash of his instant body technique, Ning Rongrong immediately left his original position and appeared a few meters away. Before Ning Rongrong could react, she was embraced by Mu Feng, and something called sweetness spread in her heart. Does he still care about me very much with a loud bang, Ning Rongrong's original position suddenly released a circle of earthy yellow waves in the direction of Tang San and the four of them, following the rhythm of the ground. Unlike in the alliance where the team first attacks the output, in Dolua Continent, the threat of auxiliary soul masters is much greater than that of output soul masters. Not for anything else, because auxiliary soul masters add buffs to a group of people. A fierce battle is on the verge of breaking out. A strong golden light erupted in an instant, surging around Xiao Wuji at an extremely fast speed. Zhu Zhu Qing and Xiao Wu, who were closer to him, were directly shaken away. Dai Mubai's eyes and hands quickly appeared at the location where Zhu Zhu Qing had fallen, and he took her into his arms. At this point, she had already dislocated her arm and fallen into a coma. Xiao Wu was not much better either. She spat out a mouthful of blood in the air, her body tingling, and was pulled into her arms by Tang San using blue silver grass. Mufan wiped away the blood flowing from the corners of his mouth, giving him a clearer understanding of the power of Soul Saint in his heart. Relying solely on the century-old soul skill of the first soul ring, all their previous efforts became futile. Is this the combat power of Soul Saint? Mu Feng murmured to himself. Brother Mu, are you okay? Ning Rongrong was also very anxious in her heart. At this point, the fragrance had just burned halfway, but her seven treasures glass pagoda added various auxiliary attributes, but did not include healing. She only has two soul rings, and the additional effects can only be so many. No matter how anxious she is, it's useless. It's okay, don't worry about me. For his physique, this minor injury is nothing. Zhao Wuji's speed suddenly became faster, as if he had only taken one step to reach Mu Feng. His huge palm was raised, and the second soul ring on his body lit up at the same time. He burst out laughing, and his palm instantly turned golden with the injection of the soul ring, doubling in size and shooting directly at Mu Feng. Ning Rongrong was right behind Mu Feng at this moment, so he couldn't hide. The dance of breaking distance, the hardening technique of earth escape. Mufeng's reaction was rapid, with six slender sharp blades beside him, appearing out of thin air, and then spinning around Mufeng at high speed, constantly counteracting the impact of Zhao Wuji's powerful diamond palm. Two seconds later, the sharp blade could no longer withstand the impact of the powerful diamond palm and flew around with a bang. Mufeng's second soul skill, 
although not able to resist Zhao Wuji's powerful steel palm, burned him enough time. The instant body technique was activated again and led Ning Rongrong to the side. Teacher Zhao, are you going too far? Mu Feng protected Ning Rongrong behind him, frowning and his eyes couldn't help but become cold. The repeated attacks really made him feel like he was made of mud. Holding a soft and gentle little dance on the side, Tang San slowly lifted his head. There was no emotion in his black eyes, but they were very profound. He slowly turned around holding Xiaowu and walked up to Ning Rongrong. Could you please help me take care of Xiaowu for a while? Ning Rongrong was stunned for a moment, then put away his Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda Martial Soul and took Xiao Wu into his arms. Although her Martial Soul is auxiliary, Soul Masters have Soul Power, and her body is naturally much stronger than ordinary people. Holding a girl like Xiao Wu is not a big deal. Handing over Xiao Wu to Ning Rongrong, Tang San turned around and walked towards Xiao Wuji. Xiao Wuji was stunned for a moment and said, what, do you still want to continue? Through the battle just now, Zhao Wuji also discovered that the five children in front of him were very good in terms of combat awareness and cooperation, and their soul rings were also top-dot-notch. Compared to the two in the college, Zhao Wuji was no less than perfect, even if they couldn't pass the assessment, so that they could join Shrek College. Tang San shook his head and said, I'm not going to continue the exam with you. Zhao Wuji said somewhat disappointed, so, are you giving up? Tang San shook his head again and said, No, I hope to have a serious fight with you and start all over again. Please light another incense. If I have persisted for a single stick of incense, then please allow the four of us to enter Shrek Academy at the same time, add me one. Mufeng also opened his mouth. As a crosstalk master said, People live without fighting for Mantu. We can't make people look down on us anymore. It makes people feel that the people of the Seven Treasures Glass sect are easy to bully. Zhao Wuji looked at the two positive people with a smile on his face and said, So what if you didn't persist? Don't forget, the five of you went up together just now and ultimately lost. At this moment, Zhu Zhuqing's dislocated arm had been connected by Dai Mubai, and she had regained consciousness. However, her breath was weak, and although she didn't want to stay in Dai Mubai's arms, she no longer had the strength to stand up. Ning Rongrong and the others smiled slightly and said, Tang San, we are comrades in arms. My father taught me since I was young that we cannot abandon our comrades. If it's not a big deal, we can just go together. Anyway, we have already lost the test. Shrek's college will definitely not reject us after nodding to Mu Feng, he stopped speaking. Mu Feng looked at Zhu Zhuqing again. Zhu Zhuqing seemed to have lost the strength to speak, but he held on to his body and nodded to Mu Feng. Although today is the first time we have met, the trust of our partners seems to have endowed the two with unparalleled strength. Turning around and facing Zhao Wuji again, if we both lose, then we'll leave together. This power, called trust and friendship, once again brought an unprecedented feeling to the previous life of being an orphan on earth. The last time Ning Fengji adopted him in the Starry Forest, from that day on, Mu Feng had a home, a family, and something to protect him for a lifetime. I will definitely let everyone pass. I swear in the name of the martial soul. Mu Feng looked at Zhao Wuji and said firmly. Zhao Wuji looked at the children in front of him, and the more he looked, the more he liked them. He laughed heartily and said, Okay, okay, then let me see. What power are you hiding to resist my attack? The third incense was ignited again and inserted into the ground beside it. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 2 The Sound of Ding, Task Release Battle Zhao Wuji in Join Shrek Academy, when X1 Lottery Times system echoed in Mu Feng's ears, which further strengthened his idea. My soul power was consumed by about 50.6%, but Chakra didn't consume much. I should be able to hold off a pillar of incense, but if it doesn't work out, 
I'll use the eight gates to evade armor, Mu Feng analyzed to himself. Of course, to be joking, the eight gates Duanjia is his biggest trump card, unless it's a moment of life or death. After all, this is a ruthless move to kill 1,000 enemies and self-damage 800. However, the first few doors can still be opened if necessary. Perhaps due to the two generations of Mu Feng, his spiritual power is about twice that of an average person. Also, because the amount of chakra is linked to physical and mental strength, although the quality of Mu Feng chakra is lower tolerance, the quantity is almost equal to that of upper tolerance. The crimson Sharingan quietly appeared, and a small jade in the crimson eye socket was slowly rotating. The world in my eyes began to slow down, and my hands began to quickly seal. Because I didn't deliberately practice the speed of seal making, I could only slowly make one or two seals per second. On Tang San's side, his hands have gradually turned white, as white as jade. Between the ten fingers, there seems to be a faint airflow flowing. With his head slightly lowered, his opponent couldn't see him, and he had completely turned into purple eyes. Zhao Wuji across from him clearly felt the change in their breath, whether it was Mu Feng making strange gestures or Tang San standing still, giving him a sense of danger. Tang San, buy me some time. Helplessly, Mu Feng could only seek help from Tang San. Teacher Zhao, be careful. Tang San suddenly raised his head and took the lead in challenging. The purple light in his eyes suddenly became strong. Seeing his purple eyes, Zhao Wuji was immediately startled and his steps slowed down. After all, the deceptive attack with eyes is the most difficult type of soul skill to resist. He almost suffered a loss when he faced Xiao Wu before. But soon Zhao Wuji realized that the purple light in Tang San's eyes had no attacking effect. And just in his moment of relief, Tang San's drooping hands floated up on both sides of his waist. Shihishi, Shihishi, Shihishi. Ten cold lights burst out from Tang San's lightly twisted hands and fingers, each shooting towards Zhao Wuji, none of them are the same, and all the choices are crucial. The piercing sound of breaking through the air startled Zhao Wuji. Among all his abilities, agility was his least skilled. After being possessed by a martial soul, although his speed has increased, Due to his huge size and astonishing defensive ability, he usually chooses to confront his opponents in a tough way. Zhao Wuji instinctively wanted to dodge and dodge. Done to the Yellow Spring Marsh. Mufeng finally finished sealing and activated ninjutsu. Approximately 3-1 of the chakra in the body is instantly extracted, after all, this is AB. level ninjutsu, and high consumption is a normal phenomenon. As soon as the words fell, the land under Zhao Wuji's feet began to slowly become soft, until it finally turned into a mud pit. Zhao Wuji, who was in the midst of it, was unable to move a single step and had to activate the hidden weapon that could not move the body of the Ming King and forcefully carry Tang San. The earthy yellow golden light surrounded Zhao Wuji's entire body, and Tang San's hidden weapon hit him, bouncing open one by one as if touching an iron plate. Fire escaping phoenix flower claw red. Mu Feng threw out five or six swords in his hand, and then spat out a series of basketball-sized fireballs from his mouth. The fireball perfectly wraps around the fire hand sword, which is the signature ninjutsu of the two pillars and Itachi god in the original work. All the fireballs hit Zhao Wuji, causing waves of small explosions and smoke. Not finished yet, first soul skill, Sharp Blade Impact Six sharp blades flickering with cold light quickly stabbed towards Zhao Wuji. Take advantage of his illness. Take his life. But when he stabbed a few centimeters next to Zhao Wuji, he could barely stop. Zhao Wuji, who was raising his arms to defend, saw the suddenly stopped sharp blade and suddenly felt a little puzzled. Suddenly, the sharp blade quickly spread out and surrounded Zhao Wuji, strangling Mu Feng and shouting loudly. The sharp blade quickly cuts around Zhao Wuji at an extremely fast speed. If you look in the field of vision of the Sharingan, you will find that although the six sharp blades seem to cut around Zhao Wuji, all their attacks actually fall on one point. 
As early as the first round of attack, Mu Feng discovered that his martial soul attack and penetration were extremely strong, but neither were enough to break through Zhao Wuji's fully operational immovable Ming Wang body. But if we gather all the attacks of the first soul skill together, we will have the scene just now. After shooting ten cold rays, Tang San saw that Zhao Wuji was tightly restrained by Mu Feng and did not retreat to continue outputting. Ten explosions sounded almost simultaneously, and all ten cold lights pierced Zhao Wuji's body. However, in the strong golden light, they were all bounced back and did not cause any damage to Zhao Wuji. Tang San was secretly surprised in his heart. You should know that he shot ten bone penetrating nails. Among small hidden weapons, the weight of bone penetrating nails is considered to be the largest. Coupled with his internal power stimulation and the penetrating characteristics of bone penetrating nails, he did not cause any damage to Zhao Wuji, which shows how strong Zhao Wuji's defense is. Dai Mubai's claim that he has no flaws is not unreasonable. The willow blade, locust stone, money dart, bone piercing nail, and various hidden weapons bloomed in Tang San's technique of pouring rain and flowers, some flying straight, some slanting, and some circling to the back, but the ultimate goal was only one, which was the vital part of Zhao Wuji's body. At this moment, the yellow mud swamp lost the support of chakra, and the ground began to slowly become hard. Powerful Diamond Palm Zhao Wuji vigorously urged his soul power and slapped the legendary blade that was crazily cut around him. It is noteworthy that there is a wound on Zhao Wuji's left arm, which is about an inch long and bleeding profusely. There were also several shining bone-piercing needles inserted on his shoulders, after all, Zhao Wujigwang was only able to defend against the attacks of soul skills and ninjutsu by fully utilizing his first soul skill in the face of Mu Feng's attack. Not to mention Tang San's crazy output in the distance, he inadvertently gave Tang San the opportunity to use hidden weapons. The paralyzing toxins on several bone penetrating needles have completely penetrated Zhao Wuji's body. Zhao Wuji clearly felt the heaviness of the arm swing and couldn't feel the pain of the wound anymore. At this moment, the eyes of the few people watching the battle around were somewhat straight whether it was the hidden weapons constantly flying out of Tang San or the magnificent ninjutsu performed by Mu Feng, their hearts were filled with surprise. Whether it's Zhu Zhu Qing, Ning Rongrong, or Dai Mubai. I couldn't help but feel a chill in my heart. If I were Zhao Wuji, perhaps I had already been hit. Ning Rongrong has long been accustomed to Mu Feng's ninjutsu and has seen him throw darts, kowu, sword in hand, but he has never seen Tang San, a hidden weapon that looks like rain and has a variety of styles, making it difficult to defend against. In the first round of the confrontation, it was obvious that Mu Feng and Tang San had a clear advantage in their cooperative attack. Afterwards, the two of them relied on flexible body movements to constantly evade Zhao Wuji's attack on the field. Without realizing it, the incense burned for a while, and it had already burned down one dot third of its length. Zhao Wuji, who was chasing Mu Feng, suddenly stopped and scolded with a smile, you two little monkeys are really slippery. Do you want to procrastinate like this until time? It's not that easy. The third soul ring skill, gravity enhancement. The third soul ring on Zhao Wuji's body, the purple millennium soul ring, suddenly enlarged, but it did not inject power into his body, but floated down and directly poured into the ground. Suddenly, Mu Feng and Tang San felt as if their feet were stuck in the mud, and their bodies suddenly became heavy, as if their weight had directly doubled. However, Zhao Wuji was clearly not affected and strode towards Mu Feng, with a faint smile in his eyes, as if saying, I see where else you're going this time. Breaking through each one is his tactic. What a powerful soul skill. Under the influence of gravity, Mu Feng's speed significantly decreases. Although the speed of instant body technique is faster than most of the same level sensitive attack series, it is already difficult to dodge Zhao Wuji's attacks under the influence of gravity. Several times, he narrowly avoided Zhao Wuji's powerful diamond palm. Zhao Wuji glanced at the burning incense beside him, which had already burned almost halfway. He couldn't help but feel a little anxious in his heart. 
I don't want to make a fool of myself by dealing with a 12-year-old child so hard. Isn't this going to be a joke to other teachers? This child is settled. However, this exam should also be over now. Thinking of this, the fourth soul ring on Zhao Wuji's body lit up again. The purple light shone brightly, and surprisingly, the fourth soul ring on Zhao Wuji's body flew out, as if he had grown eyes, catching up with Mu Feng's body and directly fitting it onto him. What does this mean? Mu Feng felt a chill in his heart. But when the purple millennium halo wrapped around his body, it did not bring him any discomfort. Zhao Wuji chuckled and said, it's time for the end. If you can force me to use four soul rings, you have the qualification to be admitted. As soon as he finished speaking, his thick legs suddenly exerted force and he jumped up from the ground. Mufen quickly shifted his position, but he was surprised to find that Zhao Wuji, who had jumped up in the air, turned and still fell towards him as he moved. He didn't know that this was Zhao Wuji's fourth soul ring skill, location tracking. Once locked by his fourth soul ring, he can instantly bring himself closer within a hundred meters with the power of jumping. This skill may not be useful for soul masters of other cultivation methods, but it is no better for Zhao Wuji, who is a power type. By instantly narrowing the distance between oneself and the opponent through positioning and tracking, his strength and attack have the greatest development space. In order to end the battle as soon as possible, he used this skill of his own. Blue Silver Grass Entangled. Under Tang San's control, a large amount of blue silver grass rushed frantically towards Zhao Wuji in the air, attempting to pull him down. But things didn't go as planned, and the Ming King's body was instantly activated. A loud bang in the air. In the diffusion of golden light, he broke free from the constraints of the blue silver grass. Once again charged towards Mu Feng who was dodging. Damn it! This soul skill actually has a tracking function. Mu Feng was startled in his heart. Seeing Zhao Wuji's attack about to fall on Mu Feng. Be careful. The onlookers were also anxious, and Ning Rongrong exclaimed in fear. Tang San saw Zhao Wuji's fourth soul skill with such strong tracking ability, and also saw Mu Feng's dangerous situation. He immediately activated the second soul skill, Parasitism. At this moment, Zhao Wuji suddenly launched and the blue silver grass that appeared suddenly wrapped Zhao Wuji tightly in the air. The timing for Tang San to launch the parasitic attack was just right, coinciding with the moment before Zhao Wuji was about to land. In this way, Zhao Wuji could not launch an attack on him immediately after landing. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 3 you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Battle Against Zhao Wuji, 3 Seeing Zhao Wuji entangled in the blue silver grass, I couldn't help but feel a joy in my heart, good opportunity. Ba Men Dun Jia, open the door, open it. Rest the door, open it. Faced with Zhao Wuji, who had already been charged, Mu Feng still dared not ask for help and directly opened two doors. The chakra inside Mufeng's body rapidly surged, and all aspects of its attributes were greatly improved. Shua, in the eyes of everyone, Mu Feng disappeared, in place bang. Bang 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 when the crowd saw the blurred figure, Mu Feng wrapped his right foot in a large amount of chakras and kicked Xiao Wuji's chin from bottom to top, fiercely kicking him. A piercing sound was emitted, but this kick did not directly kick Xiao Wuji off the ground. It was then an astonishing continuous kick that propelled Zhao Wuji into the air five or six meters high. Wuji, who was kicked, was extremely shocked in his heart. It was not that he didn't want to break free, but that Mu Feng was on his feet, seemingly possessing a strange power. Its continuous kicks are heavier than each other, and the soul power he just gathered is scattered time and time again, and not a soul skill can be used. During this period, Severe pain accompanied Mufeng's entire body, especially his legs. Biao Lianhua Mufeng let out a low roar and adjusted Zhao Wuji, who was bound in the air, with both hands. At this moment, Mufeng's head was facing upwards, 
while Zhao Wuji was bound with his head facing downwards. The two of them spun and fell rapidly downwards. Seeing Zhao Wuji about to suffer a heavy blow with his head down, he knows he can't stay any longer. You. Zhao Wuji was a little angry in the air, and let out a low roar. The fifth soul ring, which was shining deep black, suddenly lit up. The strong roar made the entire Shrek Academy tremble, and the blue silver grass wrapped around him was instantly shattered. Tang San felt immense pressure coming from all directions at the same time, and his body rushed towards Zhao Wuji uncontrollably. The pressure from around his body seemed to crush him, and this force was no longer something he could resist. Mu Feng, who was holding Zhao Wuji upside down in the air, felt that all his internal organs were about to shift. The immense pressure constantly squeezed every part of his body, and strands of blood overflowed from the corner of his mouth. Mufeng endured the side effects of gravity compression and the eight gates escaping armor. He knew he had reached his limit, so he quickly released Zhao Wuji's body and gave up the follow dot up attack of Biao Lianhua, falling to the side. Tang San was on the side, of course not idle. He was constantly using the purple extreme magic eyes to carefully observe and search for every flaw in Zhao Wuji. When he saw Zhao Wuji unleashing his fifth soul skill in the air with a roar, he knew the opportunity had come. He suddenly lowered his head with a crisp bang, and a seven-inch long crossbow shot out from behind, heading straight towards Zhao Wuji's roaring mouth. At the same time, he also threw out ten newly obtained dragon whisker needles, which were so precise even though he was already under the control of the other party, which is amazing. Tight-backed floral crossbow, medium-dot-sized crossbow arrow. Controlled by the muscles in the back, the crossbow only has one shot, but due to its large size and strong mechanical elasticity, its destructive power is extremely strong among mechanical concealed weapons, far from being comparable to sleeve arrows. The catapult speed of the tightly backed floral crossbow was extremely fast, and Zhao Wuji didn't even have time to lift his hand. Without moving Ming Wang's defense, the strong crossbow arrow pierced through and shot straight towards his mouth. In the midst of danger, Zhao Wuji demonstrated the powerful combat experience of the Soul Saint, without any panic, with his teeth closed, and he happened to bite the crossbow arrow with a tightly backed flower shaped crossbow in his mouth. The impact force of the tightly backed floral crossbow was extremely strong. Although Zhao Wuji bit it, his teeth were also shaken and loosened. At the same time, a sweet fragrance passed through the crossbow and arrow, causing him to suddenly feel dizzy in his mind. How could Tang San not have done some writing on the tightly backed floral crossbow, which only has one? The crossbow is hollow and contains a small amount of venom from the mandala snake. Once the arrow penetrates the enemy's body and is compressed, the venom will immediately pop out. At this moment, although the crossbow did not penetrate Zhao Wuji's body, Zhao Wuji's teeth also gave it enough pressure, and this bite of venom was naturally given to him without hesitation. Ten golden rays of light forcefully penetrated the defense of the immovable Ming Wang's body, quietly imprinting Zhao Wuji's body and infiltrating. Zhao Wuji felt several sharp pains coming from his body at the same time, and with the strength of his nerves, he couldn't help but take a cold breath, causing his whole body to spasm in pain. With a loud bang, Zhao Wuji's small mountain-like body forcefully smashed a large pit into the ground, with cracked ground covering a radius of one meter, indicating the immense impact. Click, click. Tang San's feet collided with each other, with sharp blades about three inches long protruding from their toes, charging towards Zhao Wuji. One foot flew up and kicked towards Zhao Wuji's throat, while the other foot silently kicked towards the vital area below him. In such a disadvantaged situation, he could still make such an attack response, which can definitely be considered terrifying. Pooh! Zhao Wuji spat out the crossbow and arrow in one gulp, and his reaction was also not slow. At the same time, he blocked Tang San's foot attack with both hands up and down. Are you a hedgehog? Zhao Wuji roared angrily. However, because he took a bite of mandala venom in his mouth, his tongue was a bit numb and his speech was a bit unclear. 
not to mention that after arriving at Shrek Academy, even when he was in the Soul Master world before, he had never suffered such a big loss. His eyes flickered with a fierce light, and he was about to erupt. Strange power. Suddenly, a sharp pain erupted in his back, and Zhao Wuji couldn't react. He was pushed forward by tremendous force, causing his body to lose balance. It turned out that Mu Feng used his final chakra instant technique to reach behind Zhao Wuji, concentrating all the chakras on his right hand and unleashing the strange power of Gangso. Then touch it and it will retreat. Tang San saw the timing right, but at some point, a hammer suddenly appeared in his left hand, a pitch black small hammer. After Zhao Wuji blocked his legs, his left hand swung a hammer towards Zhao Wuji's face. It's not over yet. Zhao Wuji was furious in his heart and decided to teach the little hedgehog in front of him a lesson. He blocked his face with his right hand and slapped Tang San's chest with his left hand. Of course, his palm didn't use much force, it was just that he suffered such a big loss, and a small retaliation made him feel really uncomfortable. Of course, by the time this palm was struck, he had already retracted his perpetual soul ring technique of gravity squeezing, otherwise Tang Sanfei would have been crushed to death by this skill. Bang bang, two muffled moans came almost simultaneously. Tang San's body was slapped out by Zhao Wuji's palm, and one of the muffled moans was naturally made by him. His body flew in the air, spraying out a mouthful of blood. All the previous attacks, he could be said to have been exhausting, exhausting his thoughts and internal strength. At this point, he was close to running out of oil and light. How could he withstand Zhao Wuji's palm? It was already good that he had not been knocked out by the shock. Dai Mubai woke up and placed Zhu Zhu Qing on the ground. With a flash of his figure, he picked up Tang San who was flying backwards. The other muffled snort belonged to Zhao Wuji. He thought it was just another hidden weapon of Tang San, but blocking Tang San's swing was not easy for him. But when the hammer hit his palm, he already felt something was wrong. The seemingly small hammer was powerful and heavy. Although Zhao Wuji timely activated his soul power, his carelessness came first. Under the dual influence of mandala snake venom and body pain, his soul power was somewhat insufficient. The hammer hit the palm of his hand, and the palm hit his face again. Zhao Wuji suddenly had a long nosebleed, and with such a rub on his palm, he felt like he had opened a dying room and became a big flower face. The whole person was a bit confused by the impact. But the black little hammer disappeared silently after hitting him. Tang San was supported by Dai Mubai and coughed up a mouthful of blood. Although his injuries were not mild, if we only look at the surface, no one would think that Zhao Wuji had won the battle just now. Brother. Ning Rongrong handed Xiao Wu, who had fallen unconscious due to his soul power, to the nearby Empress Zhu Zhu Qing. I directly used my soul skill to accelerate and quickly caught Mu Feng, whose face was as shaky as gold paper. Compared to Tang San, Mu Feng suffered more severe injuries, after all, the eight gates Duanjia was not just for fun. Even if only the first two gates were opened, his current physical fitness could withstand it and not harm his body. Brother, are you okay? Why are you so foolish? As for the assessment. If it's a big deal, we won't make it. Ning Rongrong knelt down on the ground, placing the weak Ping Mufeng on his leg, trying to make him feel as comfortable as possible. He carefully wiped away the blood stains from the corners of his mouth and asked anxiously. Brother, please rest assured and recuperate first. Tomorrow, I will go back to the sect to call Grandpa Sword and teach this stinky bear a lesson with Grandpa Bone. Ning Rongrong clenched his pink fist tightly and said with hatred. Silly sister, this is a challenge that Tang San and I took the initiative to propose. Getting injured is also our own responsibility. Don't always trouble Grandpa Jian and Grandpa Bon, they cannot protect us for a lifetime. Mu Feng patiently explained. He is not afraid that Sword Bon Dolua will come, but rather that he is afraid that he will indeed come. If this bullying of the younger generation spreads, it will definitely not sound good. 
After speaking, Mu Feng could no longer endure the pain caused by the dual consumption of chakra and soul power. In the unique fragrance of the girl, she fainted with happiness. The image of victim Zhao Wuji at this time is. Tang San's body was covered in various hidden weapons, and his hair was burned long and short by the fire. If you were close, you could still smell a burnt smell. His face was covered in blood from Tang San's unknown hammer, and his clothes were cut one by one by Mu Feng's self-created soul technique, resembling a beggar, looking extremely miserable. At this moment, a chubby middle dot aged man walked over and handed them colorful things, such as candy beans. Hello children, I am Xiao Xian, a teacher from this college. I am a 72 level food soul master, and my martial soul is candy beans. It has a healing effect on injuries. Everyone, hurry up and eat it. After speaking, he also handed one to the victim next to him. Lao Zhao, why are you like this? Xiao Xian joked. Go ahead, it's none of your business, Zhao Wuji said with a gloomy expression on his swollen face. Xiao Xian laughed heartily, but he hadn't seen Zhao Wuji embarrass himself in a long time. No, I have to share this with Lao Li and the others today. Xiao Xian walked with a social step of not recognizing his family and laughed as he walked away. Dai Mubai next to him also suppressed a smile. Damn it, it's a big shame. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Tragedy Zhao Wuji. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Tragedy Zhao Wuji. When Mu Feng woke up from his slumber, the sky outside had gradually darkened. Opening his slightly hazy eyes, he found himself lying in a wooden house. The room is not big, about 10 square meters in size, and besides the bed he is lying on, there are two other beds next to him. Dai Mubai was sitting on another bed practicing soul power, while Tang San was also unconscious on another bed. Where is this? Mu Feng's voice was a bit hoarse, with waves of emptiness constantly coming from his body. The feeling of chakra and his soul power exhaustion was too uncomfortable, and his head was still groggy until now. The side effects of Ba Men Dun Jia also led to severe muscle strains in his legs, and it is estimated that he will not be able to get out of bed for the next three days, ding, congratulations to the host for completing the task and winning a random lottery opportunity asterisk one, the familiar system voice prompts. Use the number of lucky draws. Mu Feng's heart moved with a thought. Extracting congratulations to the host for obtaining Nara Clan Shadow Secrets, Complete, Yin Yang Creation Technique, Dot Traditional Chinese Tai Chi Boxing Ray Attribute Chakra Thunder Escaping Thousand Birds Something suddenly appeared in Mu Feng's mind. Sure, this round of lucky draws is not a loss. Shadow magic can greatly enhance one's control ability, while Thunder Attribute Chakra can allow oneself to practice Thunder Evasion Ninja, greatly enhancing one's attack power. What are the Tai Chi and Yin Yang creation techniques in the system? Mu Feng is not unfamiliar with Tai Chi after all, in his past life on earth, the elders and aunties at the door have practiced it a lot. Tai Chi is based on the dialectical concepts of Tai Chi and Yin Yang in traditional Chinese Confucian and Taoist philosophy. It integrates various functions such as nourishing one's temperament, strengthening the body, fighting against opponents, and healing muscles and meridians. A traditional Chinese boxing technique that combines the changes of yin, yang, and five elements in the Book of Changes, traditional Chinese medicine meridian studies, ancient guiding and breathing techniques, and combines internal and external cultivation, softness, slowness, lightness, and flexibility Mufeng is worried that this Tai Chi may not be the kind of Tai Chi from the past and present, right? Health Preservation You should know the traditional martial arts nowadays. Sai Mufeng remembers in his past life, a third-rate boxer easily defeated a group of skilled martial artists under the guise of traditional martial arts masters. Host, please rest assured that the system's products must be exquisite, and the system's traditional Chinese martial arts Tai Chi is absolutely authentic. At the lowest, it can definitely reach the level of the host's previous life movies, and don't forget, 
there is also a soul power bonus in the Dolua Cognate world, which can be said to be doubled in power. Mufeng looked relieved, but upon hearing the system's explanation, he became a bit eager to try. You should know that in the movie, Tai Chi is a very powerful and soothing form of martial arts. If it is true as the system claims, then Tai Chi's melee combat ability is definitely not weak, which greatly compensates for Mu Feng's shortcomings in melee combat. Can I teach Tai Chi to others in the system? Mu Feng thought of auxiliary soul masters such as Rong Rongha. For auxiliary soul masters, this could be a life.saving thing. Sure, but they have to start from scratch and cannot directly transmit data to the host like this. So, what about the yin yang creation technique? The determination of yin and yang is said to have originated from the chaos of Pangu when the power of yin and yang in the world was just formed. This cultivation method combines internal and external cultivation, and can be mastered to the extreme. It possesses the power of pure yin and yang laws and has the power to create and destroy everything. Note this skill can only be practiced by the host and cannot be passed on to others. Otherwise, it will break the rules of heaven and earth and bring danger to the host. Sleeping trough, so awesome. Dai Mubai saw him wake up and said, this is our dormitory. From now on, the three of us will only have one room. Your name is Mufeng, right? Today you and Tang San are really fierce, even a tough person like Teacher Zhao has suffered a big loss in your hands Mufeng was still immersed in the shock of the system's lottery, and heard Dai Mubai call him back quickly. Oh, oh. Mu Feng, the legendary blade of martial soul, a 27-level control and strong attack dual-level soul master. Dai Mubai, martial soul white tiger, level 38 strong attack soul zoom. The two introduced each other, which can be considered as getting to know each other again. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot that this is what teacher Shaoxin asked me to give you. Dai Mubai opened his palm and handed it over, with five or six brightly colored sugar beans in his palm. Is this? Mu Feng said inexplicably. Xiao Xian is a level 72, food-based soul saint. His fifth soul skill is to restore sugar beans and has the ability to heal injuries and restore soul power. At this point, I have to once again marvel at the impressive performance of Shrek Academy. Auxiliary soul masters are notoriously difficult to cultivate, with the most difficult being in the food department. There are only a few powerful food-themed soul masters in Dolua continent, but unexpectedly, Shrek Academy also has a food-themed soul saint. What is Professor Xiao Xian's position in the college? Ah. Cooking. Mufeng is messy on the bed the therapeutic effect of Tangdo is particularly good. Mufeng feels like he can get out of bed tomorrow, lying in bed without falling asleep. Instead, he summarizes this battle, which is his habit. My own printing speed greatly affects my performance. Having only eight Duinjia cards is far from enough. 3. Insufficient close combat ability. 4. The physical strength needs to be improved. However, except for the first point, which requires self-cultivation, it seems that all other systems have been solved by oneself. It seems that there will be a day when this unscrupulous system improves, Mu Feng felt secretly happy in his heart. In the dead of night, the entire Shrek Academy fell completely silent. During the daytime exam, as Dai Mubai had anticipated, apart from the four members of Mufeng, there was no candidate who could pass the first three levels. And this is still the year with the highest income of students at Shrek College in many years. As the vice dean, Zhao Wuji naturally has his own residence, and at this moment, he is alone in the room feeling a bit gloomy. He has changed into clean clothes and all his wounds have healed. Those minor injuries are naturally nothing, but they have dealt a significant blow to his mental health. He never expected that he was only itching and planning to move his muscles and bones, but he lost face. If it were in the past, he wouldn't even think too much and would immediately kill Mu Feng and Tang San in his own hands. But now his identity is different. He is a teacher in the college, and Mu Feng and Tang San are students. 
This stuffy breath can only be swallowed. Zhao Wuji While Zhao Wuji was sitting in a chair thinking about how to practice Mu Feng and Tang San well in the future, a sudden voice made his smile instantly freeze. You should know that as a soul saint at level 76, he is a high dot level presence in the soul master world of Dolua continent. His soul power is so strong that it can form a wonderful aura around his body, and he can clearly distinguish the sound of leaves falling within a radius of 100 meters around his body. At this moment, he did not feel anyone around him, and the voice pierced his ear directly, sounding as if he was speaking in his ear. This kind of strength has already made Zhao Wuji very wary. He doesn't know this voice, but he can be certain that the strength of the newcomer is not inferior to him. Who? Zhao Wuji stood up abruptly, with a cold light in his eyes. At that time, his reputation in the Soul Master world was not very good, and he had many enemies. Over the years, hidden within Shrek Academy, he remained calm, but unexpectedly, at this moment, a powerful opponent suddenly appeared. You come out. A faint breath locked onto Zhao Wuji. Without hesitation, Zhao Wuji walked out of the window and arrived outside. His soul power suddenly rose to its peak, carefully guarded, while also searching for the surrounding movements. Zhao Wuji looked at Tang Hao, who had an unkind expression, standing with his sword in the air, his swordsmanship filled with a murderous aura. So what? Two seniors, can we not slap each other? The injury on my face happens. Zhao Wuji knew that he couldn't escape from this beating today. What do you think? The two of them picked up the hammer and the other picked up the sword, saying in unison. Boss, boss, help me quickly. Zhao Wuji seemed to grab a life.saving straw and begged for help from Fran who had just arrived next to him. In an instant, two murderous gazes focused on Fran. Get out of here, get up or we'll beat you up together, Tang Hao said indifferently. Fran's cold sweat suddenly burst out. Two seniors, I don't know him. You can do whatever you want, don't kill him. Fran said very bachelor, and then spread his eagle wings and flew high into the sky, activating the king mode. Edge OB. Oh my goodness, the road is narrow. It's not that I didn't help you, but I helped you for nothing. Besides, you still owe me two copper soul coins. Fran C. Ade muttered to himself from high altitude, finding himself a very legitimate reason. The huge objects in their hands and the nine soul rings on their bodies disappeared simultaneously, but in the next moment, the two had already arrived in front of Zhao Wuji. Bang bang, bang bang, ah 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 the sound of collision, the surging sound of energy, muffled groans, sword aura, screams, and the cries of Yawu butterflies echoed one after another in the forest. Frand, with his wings spread out on the side, couldn't help but cover his eyes and turn his head, unable to bear to look again. You cannot live by committing your own wrongdoing. There's no need to light a incense at all, the entire battle ended in just ten breaths. Tang Hao stood with his hands down, as if nothing had happened, and his black clothes didn't even show any wrinkles. But poor Zhao Wuji was now lying on the ground, his head and feet swollen in circles, and his eyes turned black. The corners of his mouth were bloodshot, and he lay panting heavily on the ground. Zhao Wuji, do you understand the man in black said lightly. At this moment, Fran dared to come over and help Zhao Wuji, who was lying on the ground. Unexpectedly, Zhao Wuji's face was full of gratitude. Thank you very much for Haokin's guidance, he said the man in black nodded to both of them, his lips buzzing, and he whispered something. Zhao Wuji and Fran nodded at the same time, with a serious expression on their faces. Those things just now are compensation for you, and I will trouble you in the future. The voice of the man in black was no longer cold, but still very calm. Behind the black mask, there was a faint warmth in his deep eyes. After saying this last sentence, I glanced at Chen Xian beside me, her figure flickering and she had quietly disappeared. Master Chen Xin, is there anything else? Frand quickly asked as he saw that Sword Dolua Chen Xin had not left yet. 
My grandson was beaten up, so I, as a grandfather, naturally want to stand out. I will return the beating to you for Mu Feng's son. Chen Xian glanced at Zhao Wuji, who had a miserable expression on his face next to him, and saw the latter with a heart pounding and a bitter expression on his face. Although reluctant, Feng Ji asked me to give a message. Train Rom Rom and Mu Feng well. If there are any difficulties, just let us know and we will do our best to solve them. And there's more. This kind of thing, I hope it's the last time, yes, senior. When Fran lifted his head, the dust in front of him had already disappeared. As for how did it disappear? How did it disappear? Fran, a soul saint, didn't notice at all. Title Dolua, terrifying. Time goes back a few hours to the girl's wooden house. I'm sorry, Brother Mu. Ning Rongrong's heart stiffened as she couldn't swallow this breath, violating Mu Feng's instructions. After releasing the crow in his hand, the crow let out a loud cry and quickly disappeared into the vast twilight, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Evil Fire Phoenix Mahongjun, 1 You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 6 Evil Fire Phoenix Mahongjun, 1, Early Morning Mufeng had already woken up early in the morning, and after a whole night of research, he could be considered to have some insight into this yin yang creation formula. The yin and yang creation technique consists of ten layers. The prerequisite for cultivation is to absorb the free yin and yang energy, yin and yang energy, between heaven and earth, form the yin and yang bagua formation in the elixir field, and then transfer the energy cultivated into it, transforming it into a higher dot level source of power, abbreviated as source power. Mu Feng estimated that this energy was the soul power and chakra he had cultivated. After the conversion is completed, the first layer of the yin yang creation technique is also completed, and the effect is 1. Integrate the energy of cultivation and transform it into a more advanced world source power, abbreviated as source power. Because the energy level is higher than that of soul power and chakra, the damage caused by using soul skills and ninjutsu will increase. Starting from the first layer, the power of each subsequent layer will increase by 100% after the formation of the yin yang bagua formation, the power of yin yang will nourish the body and increase its strength. It can be said that the first layer is the foundation of practicing the yin yang creation technique, but it is only the first layer. The ability reflected in this yin yang creation technique greatly exceeded Mu Feng's expectations. Lying trough. So perverted, but. I like it. He 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 he, but what made him feel painful was that if the required yin and yang energy were compared to a bucket of water, Mu Feng could absorb condense, and purify a drop of water every night. According to his estimation, if it doesn't take five or six years at this speed, you can't even think about it. That is to say, the yin yang creation technique is like a peerless and delicious cake to him now, but he can only look at it and cannot eat it. When he walked out of the boy's dormitory, it was not yet dawn outside. After a night's rest, Mu Feng's soul power and chakra had almost recovered. Following Dai Mubai's guidance last night, he walked towards the girl's dormitory. In the early morning, the warm light shines, and the purple air from afar comes from the east. When passing by the playground where there was fierce fighting yesterday, I found Tang San packing up hidden weapons. When Tang San took action yesterday, to be honest, he was also shocked. I didn't expect that in this Dolua continent where everyone cultivates martial souls, there is still someone who can use hidden weapons so proficiently. If you have to describe it. Half a person and half a shadow, the rain of flowers covering the sky. The needles, feathers, spikes, and thorns are linked by ten fingers. Rainstorm flies, stars, heaven, and earth. These two lines of poetry are perfectly fitting. After greeting Tang San, he went to the girl's dormitory to find Ning Rongrong. Yesterday, Rongrong was quite worried about me. At the thought of Ning Rongrong, Mu Feng's mouth couldn't help but curl up a slight curve. Soon, Mu Feng arrived outside the dormitories of Xiao Wu, Ning Rongrong, and Zhu Zhuqin, 
but an awkward question was placed in front of him. Whether to enter or not. Are you going straight in? If it's just Ning Rongrong, it's nothing. After all, when he was a child, Ning Rongrong often ran to the Mu Fong room in the middle of the night to play pranks, which was already common. Plus, he's siblings, but having two other girls would be a bit inconvenient. After hesitating for a moment, Mu Fong still didn't go in and softly called out from outside, Rong Rong, Rong Rong. After not waiting for too long, the door opened and Xiao Wu walked out from inside. She was still dressed in the same attire as yesterday, and except for a slightly pale face, there seemed to be nothing wrong with her. Rong Rong is practicing, how is Xiao San? Yesterday, I, was he okay? It turned out that he had already woken up from his coma. Ning Rongrong was afraid that she might have something to do, so he stayed by her side. Wait for her to wake up and tell her what happened later yesterday. Tang San is fine, he is currently on the playground. Sigh, sigh, I haven't finished speaking yet. Before Mu Feng could finish speaking, Xiao Wu hurriedly ran to the playground, after all, yesterday Xiao San was injured for his own sake. Entering the girls' dormitory, there was only one figure, and Mu Feng saw Rong Rong cross-legged and practicing with his eyes closed on the bed at a glance. The early morning sunshine shone on Ning Rong Rong's delicate and delicate face, like peonies, blooming in buds. Her pure and flawless skin seemed to be enveloped in a pool of spring water, delicate and radiant, as if it could be broken by blowing. Walking to the side and sitting down, she didn't disturb her, just quietly watching Rong Rong's peerless face. For a second, two seconds. Mu Feng couldn't help but stare blankly. For a long time, when Mu Feng regained his senses and was about to shift his gaze, Ning Rongrong's watery and beautiful eyes opened and met Mu Feng's gaze. For a moment, the four eyes are facing each other Mu Feng, inner. It's over. Did he find out? No, isn't she practicing? What should I do when I open my eyes? Will she blame me? What should I say? Is she angry? Online waiting, 100,000 fire urgent urgent urgent. It's not really Mu Feng's fault. This guy never found a girlfriend on earth in his past life. He's completely an emotional novice, pure. Ning Rongrong's face also turned red. At this moment, Rongrong's rosy face fell into his eyes, as beautiful as the rosy clouds in the sky. Feeling restless in his heart, is he going to confess to me? How should I answer again? Oh my! I'm so conflicted. Me. The two of them spoke at the same time, and at the same time, they shut up. What? Rong Rong, are you hungry? Let me take you to the cafeteria for dinner, Mu Feng cleverly changed the topic and broke the awkwardness. I'm so clever. Mu Feng gave herself a thumbs up in her heart. Humph, wood. Go to hell. Upon hearing that Mu Feng was going to eat, Ning Rongrong's original expectation of beauty shattered instantly. My mentality has collapsed. Ning Rongrong stood up, summoned his martial soul, added an acceleration buff to himself, and angrily ran out. Leaving a bewildered expression on Mu Feng's face, the wind was chaotic what did I do? Where did I provoke her again? Finally, Ning Rongrong was coaxed and began the long and arduous journey of searching for the cafeteria. A few hours later, when Mu Feng pulled Ning Rongrong around the entire college for more than four rounds, Mu Feng became desperate. Finally, having no choice but to use Tu Dun to investigate, they were surprised to find out that the cafeteria was less than 10 meters away and they had missed four times. Let's go, Rong Rong, I guarantee this is true. Mu Feng firmly promised. When they arrived at the cafeteria, Dai Mu Bai and the cold girl Zhu Zhu Qing had already arrived, Tang San and Xiao Wu had also arrived, and there was a fat man in red next to them. Zhu Zhu Qing noticed that apart from her pale complexion, there seemed to be nothing wrong with her anymore. Perhaps due to yesterday's collaboration, when I saw Mu Feng and Ning Rongrong who had just arrived, I nodded to them. 
Zhu Zhu Qing was still a bit cold, but Ning Rongrong's expression clearly showed a hint of closeness. With a smile, two pear swirls appeared on his face, making him look particularly charming. The fat man looked at the third woman with slightly straight eyes and swallowed a mouthful of saliva without concealing it. Dai Mubain nudged him with his elbow and whispered, Be honest, it's best to suppress the evil fire. Dai Mubai bumped into him again and peeked at Zhu Zhu Qing, who didn't seem to notice them. He ate breakfast slowly, but his face remained cold. Ma Hongjun angrily said, Why? Are you going to take action again? I said, Dai, even if you're the boss, you still have to leave some soup for the brothers to drink. That chubby guy, it's best to restrain your gaze for me. Mu Feng couldn't stand others looking at Rongrong with such unbearable eyes. Xiao Wu sat down next to Ning Rongrong and Zhu Zhu Qing, smiling low and saying something to them. From Ning Rongrong's slightly strange gaze towards Ma Hongjun, Ma Hongjun also knew that his martial soul could not be hidden. Suddenly, feeling a bit discouraged, he sat down and vented his frustration by holding the breakfast on the table. What's going on? As a new student, you're still taking care of me as a senior. What do I love, young master? Why do I need you to take care of me? Ma Hongjun was already depressed in his heart. He knew that with the surprised look in Ning Rongrong's eyes just now, he couldn't hide the fact that his martial soul was flawed. At this moment, Mu Feng spoke out again to stop him. With his personality, he couldn't bear it and threw his anger at Mu Feng. It's over. Dai Mubai muttered to himself, the fat guy's fire has been scattered in the wrong place, it's directly onto a bucket of TNT. Hmm. You can scold and insult Mu Feng, but you must not insult his family. For him, Ning Rongrong, the teacher, and Sword Bone Dolua are the closest people to him in the world, which is his bottom line and also a challenge. Just now, this chubby guy claimed to be a young master. Sword Bone Dolua was like a grandfather to Mu Feng, and he couldn't tolerate insults from others. The technique of beheading in Tu Dun's heart. Mu Feng directly formed a seal with both hands. The next second, Mu Feng's figure disappeared. When Mu Feng reappeared, Ma Hongjun's lower body was buried underground, leaving only one head on top. Ma Hongjun is confused. Who am I? Where am I? What's wrong with me? Dai Mubai awkwardly coughed and ignored Ma Hongjun's plea for help. He didn't want to be like Ma Hongjun, it was too embarrassing. Besides, he took the initiative to cause trouble, and it's normal for them to teach him a lesson. He spoke up and said, let me introduce you to this guy. Ah, uh, no, Fatty is another student in our college, named Ma Hongjun. His martial soul is grass. Oh no, it's Phoenix. Ha ha. Ha ha. I looked at Dai Mubai's serious introduction and then at Ma Hongjun on the ground. The scene is extremely dramatic. The girls couldn't help but burst into laughter, even Zhu Zhu Qing who usually had a cold and reserved expression, had a slightly raised corner of her mouth. Xiao Wu laughed so hard that she almost lost her breath. Mu Feng couldn't help but laugh out loud. Although he just wanted to punish Ma Hongjun a little, Ma Hongjun's round head, small whiskers at the corners of his mouth, and fiery red hair looked like a fat marmot with fiery red hair. Xiao San, look, look. Ha ha ha. Xiao Wu not only smiled for herself, but also pulled Tang San, who was struggling and restrained beside her. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 For Eyed Owl Friend You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 For Eyed Owl Friend Dai Mubai's smile remained unchanged as he said, Mufeng, you don't know. The fat guy's martial soul is a fire phoenix, but this martial soul is very strange. The dean said that his martial soul is a mutated one. Mutated martial soul. What kind of martial soul and what kind of martial soul are they? Mu Feng said strangely, after all, they can mutate into fire phoenix. This powerful martial soul should not be weak in the martial souls of both parents. 
he has also heard a lot from his teacher about mutated martial souls. Once the martial soul mutates, there are only two situations. One is to become extremely powerful, and the other is to be weakened. Obviously, the fatty's martial soul is a benign mutation. Dai Mubai said, not to mention me, even Ma Hongjun himself probably doesn't know. In that village, everyone's martial soul is basically a kind of poultry without attacking power. I don't know what's going on, but when I arrived at him, my martial soul underwent a mutation and I was born with the ability to ignite flames. The chubby guy didn't enroll himself, but was brought back by the dean three years ago when he was discovered in their village. His age should be similar to yours, chicken. Mu Fong had black lines all over his head. How could two chickens without attacking power mutate into fire phoenix? Mu Feng looked at Ma Hongjun on the ground, with black lines all over his head. I'll go. What is your relationship with fried dough twists pain? How many 648 did you spend on it? Due to the variation of the martial soul, the fat man has a strong flame ability, which is very strange. Not only is the temperature extremely high, but it also has strong adhesion and is difficult to extinguish. The dean said that after his martial soul mutated, it was really possible for him to become a phoenix. However, his martial soul also had a huge flaw. Although the mutation brought powerful soul power, it also had a certain impact on his body. Make his abilities in both men and women extremely strong, and his desire and impulsiveness are ten times that of ordinary people. If it is only suppressed without transmission, then there is a possibility of the explosive body being attacked by this evil fire and dying at any time Ma Hongjun, Groundhog, quickly added, Big brother, it's not my fault. I can't suppress the evil fire. I promise I won't harass your friend again in the future. After speaking, he also showed a smile to Mu Fong that even a man could understand, you. Okay. Mu Fong was in a mess and when a thousand words came to his mouth, he blurted out two words and casually lifted two done. He originally thought that Tang San's martial soul could be as strong as a blue silver grass, which was already very strange. However, compared to this Ma Hong Jun, that was nothing. Stone Hammer, Shrek Academy equals Monster Academy equals Strange Academy. Ma Hong Jun crawled out of the ground with a gray and dusty face, revealing a self-proclaimed friendly smile to everyone. However, the three women who had already known Ma Hongjun well took a step back. It seemed that if Ma Hongjun had any further actions in the next step, he would probably summon his martial soul to start a war immediately. Dai Mubai also told Ma Hongjun the names and martial souls of the two newcomers, Mu Fong and Ning Rongrong. Ma Hongjun had already experienced Mu Feng's true strength firsthand. He didn't explain too much, just hinted to Ma Hongjun that it's best not to provoke him. After the introduction was completed and everyone was present, Dai Mubai continued, we all need to live and practice together in the future. There's no need to be too restrictive in terms of address. With the addition of the five new members, there are only seven people in the college. The fat guy called me Boss Dai because I am older than them all. You can just call me Mu Bai, Ma Hongjun can just call him Fatty. Tang San, how should I call you Xiao San in the future? Tang San nodded, indicating that he had no objections. For this Shrek Academy, although he hasn't had much exposure yet, he already has a sense of belonging. Dai Mubai and Ma Hongjun, both students have their own characteristics, but neither of them offends him. Before Dai Mubai could talk about himself, Ning Rongrong said confidently, just call me Rongrong. That's how my family and friends call me. Her smile remained on her face all along, and a simple sentence unconsciously brought her closer to the crowd. In the future, everyone can call me Mufeng, Xiaofeng, or Xiaomu, Mufeng said with an elegant and easy duck-going smile. Xiao Wu's nickname naturally doesn't need to be changed. When Dai Mubai's gaze saw Zhu Zhu Qing, Zhu Zhu Qing stood up and said, I'm full. After speaking, he turned around and walked outward. Ma Hongjun looked at Dai Mubai with some surprise and said, Boss Dai, 
aren't you claiming to be a girl killer with no opportunities among women? Why doesn't this new pretty girl even want to take a second look at you? Dai Mubai smiled bitterly and shook his head, but did not explain. At this moment, a sudden sound came from outside. Dai Mubai quickly stood up and said, This is the bell that the dean summoned us. Fatty, take them directly to the playground, and I will go find Zhu Zhu Qin. Let's go, Rong Rong, go gather on the playground. Seeing Mu Feng's reaction just now, her heart felt sweet. I didn't expect this guy to be jealous at times, Ning Rong Rong thought to himself. As everyone gathered and chattered, a middle dot aged man walked over from the other direction of the playground. When everyone saw the visitor's face clearly, Xiao Wu exclaimed in surprise, isn't that the unscrupulous merchant uncle? Tang San was also surprised. The person who came was the one who sold their hair crystals when he and Xiao Wu first entered Tusua City, as if they also knew their own teacher. Dai Mubai exclaimed in surprise, what kind of unscrupulous merchant uncle? This is our dean, the founder of Shrek Academy, the four-eyed cat eagle friend, a soul saint at the level of 78. He is even more fierce than teacher Zhao, and he possesses a flying beast martial soul, which is quite rare among soul warriors. Fatty is his legitimate disciple. I don't know why, Xiao Wu also asked Dai Mubai Academy if there are soul masters at the level of soul Dolo. Fran said, that's great. Five more junior and junior students have come this year. When I come back, Mu Bai will tell them the rules of the college. Then go back to rest and try to restore your state to the best possible level. The first class of today will start in the evening, except for Ma Hong Jun and Ning Rong Rong, who will come with me Fran waved his hand and said, others can go rest and write. Remember, reach your best state before dark, don't blame me for not reminding you. The teaching in this college is different from other places, and you may even face danger Ning Rong Rong was left behind, so Mu Feng naturally couldn't leave. Everyone dispersed one by one, but Tang San did not leave. He wanted to see how the Monster Academy was taught. Seeing Tang San not leaving, Xiao Wu also stayed behind. Fran didn't care and said to Ning Rong Rong, you are an auxiliary soul master. A soul master like you, whether on the battlefield or in peacetime. You all need the protection of companions around you, otherwise it will be difficult for you to survive. Can you tell me, as an auxiliary soul master, how can I better protect myself on the battlefield? Ning Rong Rong said without hesitation, try to hide behind your partners as much as possible and use all available terrain and buildings around to avoid risks. Try to stay away from dangerous areas as much as possible. The original source of this sentence is Ning Fengji, the first auxiliary soul master of Dolua continent, the father of Ning Rongro. As the authority of the entire Dolua continent's auxiliary soul masters, he has a thorough understanding of auxiliary soul masters. Fran nodded and said, you're right, but there's one thing you didn't say. As an auxiliary soul master, running is a necessary quality. An auxiliary soul master who can't run is not a good soul master. What does it take to escape? What is needed is physical strength. Although as a soul master with their own soul power assistance, your physical fitness is stronger than that of ordinary people. However, the enemy you may face is the opponent's battle soul master, so as an auxiliary soul master, you also need to exercise your physical strength. At critical moments, perhaps by taking one more step, you can survive so, your class today is about doing physical training. From now on, run around the entire village for 20 laps. If you haven't come back before lunch, you don't have to eat lunch. You can use your own martial souls for assistance. Now, let's go, and Ma Hong Jun is responsible for leading the way Fran chuckled and revealed his fox tail. Ah! Teacher! I'm not an auxiliary soul master. Why do I have to run too? Others don't know, but Ma Hong Jun doesn't know. Fran refers to the entire village, including the farmland in the village. After one lap, the distance is at least three kilometers or more. Twenty laps is a quite terrifying number. Even with over twenty levels of soul power, 
completing this course before noon is still a painful task for auxiliary soul masters. For soul warriors in their twenties, running such a distance is not very easy. Why? She doesn't know the way, take her running, and then take a look at you. What's your weight gain? It's time to lose weight. Frand had a resentful expression on his face. He was the main force of the golden iron triangle, and even if his disciple's martial soul was flawed, he would have grown fat like this. When he went out and said he was Fran's disciple, he had a strong desire to die. Although Fran has a little bit of a love for wealth, he still cares about his reputation and face, otherwise he wouldn't be so poor as to personally set up a stall and sell things. Dean, can I come together? Mu Fong said. Helping each other among classmates is a good thing, go, go. Fran said goodbye and called out to Tang San, walking towards his office. True tool man, Ma Hong Jun is online. Tools. Ah, no, chubby, lead the way. Mu Fong smiled awkwardly. Sleeping in a slot is so dangerous. Almost exposed my true thoughts. Seven Treasure Glass Sect. The Main Hall of Discussion. On the north side of the main hall, the main seat facing north and south is a sour wood carved flower chair, with a large jade stone embedded on the back of the chair. Jade is emerald green in color, emitting a faint warm and moist atmosphere, making it an excellent warm jade. There was a person sitting on the sour wood carved flower chair, with a jade like face, a straight nose, and a square mouth a refined and gentle appearance, and a clean white robe. He looks around forty years old, with a soft gaze that looks like an ordinary person no matter what. A head of soft black hair draped behind, everything looked so casual without any affectation. At this moment, he was looking down at a young man kneeling on the ground, dressed in white overalls. Report to the master that the young lady and young master have arrived at Shrek Academy and successfully passed the exam, the young man said respectfully. Ning Fengji nodded and said, How is Shrek College doing? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Tasso's Great Battle Soul Field. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Tasso's Great Battle Soul Field, please forgive me, Master. There is at least one soul saint and several soul emperor level experts in Shrek Academy and their subordinates are incompetent and unable to enter and investigate. Ning Fengji's face showed a hint of emotion, I really didn't expect that one of the famous Golden Iron Triangles, which was once famous, would open a college in the small place of Tozo City. All right, you go down. Yes, Lord. The young man quickly retreated. A vigorous and powerful voice rang out in the hall, as if coming from all directions. The hall trembled and rustled, Fengji, are you so confident that Rongrong and Mufeng are outside alone? Can Shrek College teach better than us? Mu Feng, that kid has a variety of methods. He's okay, Rongrong has an auxiliary department. No, I have to go get Rongrong back. I still don't feel at ease if she's outside. With the sound, an old man with white beard and hair, but a delicate face like a baby, walked out of the back hall and sat down on a chair next to the patriarch Ning Fengji with a big prick. The newcomer is the sword Dolua who bullied Zhao Wuji with Tang Hao, Chinchin. Ning Fengji's face showed a look of helplessness, Uncle Sword, I can't let this girl stay in the sect even if it's against you and Uncle Bone. You really dote on her too much. If it weren't for Xiao Mu being able to keep an eye on her, it wouldn't be possible for you to spoil her like this now. Uncle Jian said discontentedly, who said we spoiled Rongrong. You only saw Rongrong's playful side and didn't see her obedient side. You have many sons, but only one daughter. You're really willing. Ning Fengji said decisively, Uncle Jian, no matter what I say this time, I won't go find her, and neither you nor Uncle Gu can go. Xiaomu is an exception this time, and you don't need to worry about Rongrong's safety at all. The dean of that Shrek Academy was the first pinnacle of the Golden Triangle. He cannot fail to recognize the martial soul of our Seven Treasures Glass Sect. 
With his protection, Ron Ron will not be in trouble Uncle Jian snorted angrily and said, Ron Ron has something to do, so I'll take you as a question. Your body is a bit tight, so I'll find old bone dragon to move around. Just as Chen Xian was about to fly out of the palace with his seven killing swords on both feet, he suddenly seemed to have thought of something and said to Ning Fengji with a serious expression, this time I went to Shrek Academy and met. What, he actually appeared. Ning Fengji seemed to have heard something incredible. If it weren't for the huge Haotian hammer and the blood-red soul ring, besides that, I wouldn't have thought of anyone else. Moreover, there is a child named Tang San who enrolled in Shrek this year. Tang San, Tang San, Tang. Tang Hao. Feng Ji's heart suddenly had a bold but uncertain guess. Is it difficult? Both of them turned their heads towards each other, seemingly thinking of the same answer. Anyway, Feng Ji, since he has appeared, a fierce battle between him and the Martial Soul Hall is inevitable. Whether it affects our Seven Treasures Glass sect or not, it's time for Xiao Mu's proposal to be put on the agenda. Hmm. Ning Fengji replied, then stood with his hand down and looked at the magnificent Seven Treasures Glass sect outside the door, wondering what he was thinking. As night fell, Frank, the Dean of Shrek College and the Four-Eyed Owl, was standing on the playground, looking at all seven students in front of him. Dai Mubai, Tang San, Xiao Wu, Ma Hongjun, and Zhu Zhu Qing, who had a cool and neat face, were all ready for the evening class and were full of energy. However, Fran's attention was not on them, but on the three of them who had just finished twenty laps. Ma Hongjun, have you finished twenty laps? Fran's gaze gave a sharp feeling, making it difficult to look at him. Mu Feng took a step forward, nodded, and said, Dean, Rong Rong and I have finished running. Fran nodded in satisfaction and waved his hand, gesturing for the two to fight in the queue of the others. Mu Feng, with a slightly red face, supported Ning Rong Rong, who was panting heavily, and Ning Rong Rong, who was sweating profusely, returned to the queue. Although twenty laps were difficult for auxiliary soul masters, for Ning Rong Rong, who had enjoyed exercising with Mu Feng since childhood, and with the support of Bing Liang Wan, she still struggled to persevere. Fran then looked at Ma Hong Jun and smiled. If everyone were to evaluate his smile, then using the word cunning would be perfect. Dean, I was wrong. I missed it. I shouldn't be lazy, I shouldn't be lazy. Ma Hong Jun's face turned pale with regret. He knew how good it was to listen to Mu Feng. Flanders knows the whereabouts of the three of them like the back of his hand. Fran slowly lifted his right hand and lightly patted Ma Hongjuan's shoulder. I really appreciate it. Since that's the case, you can run another twenty laps. If you don't finish, you don't have to eat, he said. I have sealed your soul power, there is no need to attempt to release it. Go ahead. Sa Nian. The running under the sunset is your lost youth. Fran waved his hand and recalled Ma Hongjun, who had only been exhausted for a few laps, saying, Next time, make up for what hasn't run. Everyone set off and follow me. After speaking, he tiptoed and lightly jumped out, heading towards the direction outside the college. Everyone hurried to follow. Soon, everyone discovered that Fran's destination for this trip was the city of Soto. It was not far from Shrek College to Soto City, and as he was about to reach the southern gate of Soto City, Fran's speed slowed down, allowing all five students to keep up. The city of Soto is located within the Barak Kingdom and is not threatened by any external threats, so the gates here are open 24-7, allowing a group of six people to enter the city smoothly. Although it is now dark, the city of Soto seems to have just woken up, even more lively than during the day. On both sides of the street, all shops are brightly lit, and some small vendors who only come out for business at night have also found their most accustomed places to sell snacks or small items. A few people walked silently, while Xiao Wu looked around excitedly with a curious expression on her face. If it weren't for Tang San pulling her, she would probably have let herself go long ago. However, Ma Hongjuan's eyes were a bit insufficient. 
Although he wasn't as interested in everything as Xiao Wu, his eyes dripped and spun around, targeting the most distinctive positions of women on the street. From the age of six to sixty, Ma Hongjuan's eyes hardly let go. Once he saw someone with a fuller figure, he immediately swallowed his saliva. Fortunately, he was at the back of the team, and the others did not notice his current appearance. Fran walked into an inconspicuous tea shop on the street with five people. The six of them sat around a round table, and Fran ordered six cups of the cheapest tea. Xiao Wu frowned as she looked at the tea filled with tea foam in front of her. Dean, our first class won't be here, will it? Fran said, of course not, that's where your classes are. As he spoke, he raised his hand and pointed out. Following the direction of his fingers, everyone saw a large and tall building not far from the tea shop. From their perspective, they could only see that building standing at a height of nearly a hundred meters, incredibly huge. In the darkness, it appeared extremely deep, and from that huge building, there was a faint flicker of light. Daimubai's face changed and he whispered, Dean, should we let them go there on the first day? Fren said calmly, remember, you are all monsters, not ordinary people. Since you are monsters, you need to have a monster-like cultivation method. At this point, he paused and said in a deep voice, your martial souls are all different, and each has their own cultivation method. What the academy can teach you is how to better utilize your martial soul, help you obtain better soul rings, have more practical experience, and develop your potential as much as possible. The remaining knowledge is about various aspects of martial souls, as well as the situation of soul masters on the mainland. Among all the things you need to learn, the most important is practical experience the same level and strength, as well as the amount of practical experience, will determine the key to victory or defeat. Only through continuous practical combat can you maximize your adaptability in combat. So, your first lesson is about practical experience, and that place is your classroom Mu Fong nodded in agreement. Dai Mubai and Ma Hongjun exchanged a glance, but Ma Hongjun didn't dare to speak. Dai Mubai's evil eyes showed helplessness, and they clearly knew what that place was. Tang San, Xiao Wu, and the cold Zhu Zhu Qing all showed a puzzled expression. Fran said, a building like this can only be owned by a city at the level of the main city. Its scale can be said to be a symbol of the strength of a city or even a country. This kind of building is called the Great Battle Soul Field. And it will be named after the city it is located in, so the one in front of you is called the Soto Arena the So. called the Do Soul Field is the place where martial souls are fought, which is where soul masters engage in battles. Whether it is the Heavenly Do Empire or the Star Luo Empire, there is a saying that the soul fighting field determines the rise and fall of a country Tang San frowned and said, Dean, isn't soul master the most noble profession? Why would there be places like the Great Battle Soul Field, where people can watch martial soul competitions like playing monkeys? Moreover, it looks very noisy, Mu Fong looked at Do Soul Factory and expressed his views bluntly. He is not a noisy person himself, especially after practicing Tai Chi. For Tai Chi, calmness of the mind is the foundation of all movements. After shaking his head and patiently explaining the reason to everyone, Fran felt relieved, as it was nothing compared to improving his strength. The level of badges is distinguished by the quality of minerals, with the lowest being the Iron Emblem, also known as the Iron Soul. From top to top, there are eight levels. Copper, Silver, Gold, Purple Gold, Sapphire, Ruby, and diamond. At this point, Fran stopped and his eagle like gaze swept over the five people in front of him one by one. My task for you is to obtain the silver soul emblem at least before graduation. Do you understand? Don't think that obtaining the silver soul emblem is an easy task. Mu Bai and Hong Jun have been participating in practical battles here for over a year. Mu Bai, tell them three, what are the requirements for upgrading the badge level here, and your achievements? After everyone finished listening, they were all surprised and secretly let go of their contempt for this monkey like soul fighting arena. Let's go, Fran said as he looked at the sky. 
Getting closer, the shock brought by the Great Battle Soul Field was even more surprising. When Tang San and Xiao Wu first arrived at Soto City, they had not been to this location of Soto City, so they did not notice that there was actually such a magnificent building in this city. Since there are still people reading my book, the author will do their best. Everyone, please comment more. Don't let me just stay single. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 1v1 Soul Fighting, Tai Chi Fist Showcases Its Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 1v1 Soul Fighting, Tai Chi Fist showcases its power as he walked towards the Soto Arena, Fran briefly shared some of the remaining information about the arena with the crowd. Here, soul fighting can be divided into three categories. One type is game, which means mutual exchange and prohibition of killing with fierce hands. Another type is life and death struggle, used to resolve irreconcilable disputes. The last type is a gambling match, with the Big Doe Soul Field serving as the referee. Both sides of the gambling match an equal number of Soul Masters, and the winner will receive everything in the gambling agreement. Gambling is first and foremost a life and death struggle, and many nobles and clans often use this method when they encounter huge conflicts with each other. And there are also three forms of competition, one-on-one, two-on-two, -two, and group fights. Among them, the number of people negotiated between the two sides of the group battle is generally within the limit of 7 to 10 people according to the rules of the Great Soul Fighting Field. Registering for Soul Fighting here is very simple, just fill out a form that includes name, age, place of birth, and martial soul to receive the initial Iron Soul Fighting Badge. Of course, registration also requires each person to pay 10 gold coins as a registration fee. At the same time, a soul power test similar to the Martial Soul Hall was conducted to determine their respective levels. Dai Mubai told everyone that every time they come to participate in soul fighting, they must first undergo a soul power test to determine the opponent for the competition. After everyone registered, they were about to proceed with soul fighting sorting. Fran took them to the game type soul fighting area and gave a few simple instructions to Dai Mubai before heading straight to the soul fighting arena. The soul masters who participated in the soul fighting were arranged to rest in a spacious room, waiting to play. Ning Rongrong sat beside Mu Fong and whispered, Brother Mu, I just asked Dai Mubai. Although each soul master can only participate in one game per day, they can participate in different types of games at the same time. We are both in our twenties. At this level, with your strength and the assistance of my seven treasures glass pagoda, it should not be difficult to win. How about we also participate in a two-on-two -two soul battle, so that we can meet the points requirements earlier? How about that Mufeng smiled slightly, rubbed Ning Rongrong's cute little head, and said softly, no problem, anyway, we are also here to improve our actual combat experience. Having more combat experience is always good, let alone you are still in the auxiliary department. Actually, just now he was worried that Rong Rong couldn't participate in one dot on point one soul battles as an auxiliary department. Ning Rong Rong buried his head, and a rosy glow flew over his delicate little face, which was truly beautiful. After speaking to Dai Mubai, he went to the area where two pairs of souls were fighting. The registration fee is 10 gold coins, and if you win one game, you will receive a total of 10 gold coins. The staff collected a fee from Tang San and his companions in a formal manner. Because they have already registered at a certain level, all they need to do is show their iron soul emblem, and there is no need to fill in anything more, said the registration staff with a serious expression. Please give your group a name. How about calling it? The Legendary Glass Ning Rongrong tilted his cute little head and thought. I'll listen to you, Mu Fong agreed with a slight smile. As for the name, he really hadn't thought about it. After all, it's just a code name, and it doesn't matter what it's called. Since Rongrong likes it, let's follow what she says. The Legendary Glass combination has been successfully registered. Xiaowu was the first of the five of them to appear on stage, and Tang San and others naturally chose to watch the battle. 
Under the guidance of the staff, they arrived at a dedicated area on the side of the arena below the audience stage, where they could see the full view of the arena. Although it is a soul-sharing platform, the area is still quite large, with a diameter of 20 meters, providing enough space for soul masters to unleash their abilities. Unfortunately, there are not many spectators sitting next to the 1.1 soul stage in this 14-minute arena, with only about 1.5 of them seated. As expected, Xiao Wu easily defeated his opponent, and Tang San was the second to come on stage. However, surprisingly, his opponent was Zhu Zhuqing. The size of the arena greatly limited Zhu Zhuqing from the agile attack style and greatly enhanced Tang San's control style. In the end, Tang San won the competition. Please go to number 7, Soul Fighting Platform, Mufan Contestant. The sound of a prompt sounded in the hall. On the Soul Fighting Platform, a middle-aged man in a tailcoat was standing in the center. He cleared his throat and said loudly. Next, we will proceed to the third one dot on point one soul battle of our seventh soul fighting field. Two great soul masters will appear, namely Mu Feng, the war soul master who possesses the legendary blade of weapon soul. The battle has won four consecutive games, and the battle's soul master with the beast martial soul brown bear is wild. Whether it is the wild soul master who can continue his glory and achieve five consecutive victories, or the newly arrived war soul master Mu Feng who wins, let's wait and see. Now, let's invite two great soul masters to come on stage unexpectedly, compared to the few voices of the audience in the stands before, when the host shouted the word, wild, he immediately became excited and shouted his wild name, resembling the fanatical performance of a previous generation of fans. A tall and sturdy figure quickly arrived at the soul fighting platform, reaching an astonishing height of about two meters. With a tiger's back and a bear's waist, the hard granite-like muscles on his body are covered in scars of all sizes, showcasing a man's unique glory. As he stepped onto the field, he let out a deafening roar, unleashing a powerful aura. Mu Feng frowned and said, Iron and silly, stop yelling. It's very annoying, you know. Wild and dissatisfied, he looked down at the source of the sound and said, Little doll, with your body size, you still want to fight me. Give up quickly, Grandpa. I'm in a hurry. Wild hands embracing arms, looking down with contempt. The audience below also supported the wildness and belittled Mu Feng. Kid, this is not where you came from. Go home and play hide and seek. Ha ha ha. How old are you? Hurry up and go home. All the audience were mocking and mocking Mu Feng. But on the side, at the observation deck very close to the soul fighting platform, the Shrek students watching were all twitching their lips. Rong Rong, please speak for a moment. What if Xiaomu kills this wild person? Dai Mubai asked cautiously. At the moment he saw Mu Feng frown, he knew that something was not good. The previous teacher Zhao was a distinct victim, and it seems very likely that this situation will happen now, and everyone is also coming over and nodding. I don't know, Brother Mu doesn't like noise. Like the annual Seven Treasures Festival of our Seven Treasures and Glass sect, as long as it's not a special situation, they usually practice in the cultivation room, and... Ning Rongrong hesitated to speak. He said, Grandpa, right. The fat man said with deep memory. Yes, Brother Mu doesn't like others insulting his family. Speaking of this, Ning Rongrong's face turned slightly red again. The road is getting narrow, young man. Upon hearing this, everyone looked at the wild and arrogant face with a pitiful expression. Start. With a command from the host, the battle of souls began. Brown bear, possessed. With a wild roar, Furry bear fur appeared all over the body, increasing defense and beginning to exhibit bear-like features. Yellow, two dazzling soul rings slowly rise from the wild feet. As a soul hunting group that specializes in hunting soul rings for others, he is fortunate that with the help of other members, the first two soul rings are both century old. This is also his arrogant and proud capital, after all, 
the first soul ring is a hundred years old, not many. Tai Chi, Mufan. Mufan did not use his martial soul and soul ring. Instead, he placed his left hand on his waist and slowly extended his right hand forward, with his palm facing upwards and his fingers slightly bent. Tai Chi is it difficult for him. Tang San's body trembled slightly under the soul fighting stage, and a strange color flashed in his eyes. On stage, compared to completely crushing his opponent, Mu Feng decided to give him a profound lesson this time. By the way, try the power of the newly acquired Tai Chi. Arrogant. Seeing that Mu Feng didn't even use his martial soul, Wilde felt that he had been underestimated by this small man, and instantly became angry and ashamed, rushing towards Mu Feng. Arrogance. My life mentor told me. Self-ambassadors kneel down, but unfortunately it's not me who is arrogant. Mu Feng shook his head, obviously this silly bear hasn't understood its own situation yet. The first soul skill, fierce bear charge. I saw Wild carrying an unstoppable momentum and rushing straight towards Mu Feng. Seeing Mu Feng still standing there foolishly, the Wild Heart couldn't help but feel a sense of joy of success. Generally, when a new soul master sees a collision of his body shape, he is basically without any control, and a sense of fear arises in his heart, not knowing how to deal with it. As a result, he was defeated by the Wild in one go. As soon as they reached the distance where they could reach each other by raising their hands. The two peaks pierced the ears. Mu Feng clenched his fists with both hands and hammered towards the wild temple, while his right foot touched the ground, his body rising into the air. Taking advantage of the kinetic energy brought by the takeoff, a beautiful roll in the air landed directly behind the wild. A pair of wild bear paws instinctively grabbed back, but caught a lonely one. Ding, Tai Chi Proficiency Plus 4, Current Realm, Beginner's Path 4 Slash 100, Ding, Tai Chi Proficiency Plus 4, Dot. The proficiency of Tai Chi is increasing every second. The wild horse split its mane. Mu Feng drew a circle with his right hand and suddenly slapped it with his left hand, directly hitting the wild horse that had not yet recovered its strength, causing his body to lose balance. The tremendous force knocked him down to the ground. You. Second soul skill, trample. Wilde stood up, his heart burning with anger, being played with by this kid like a monkey in front of so many people. Wilde launched his second soul skill directly, trampling on it. Within a radius of five meters around him, he will be slowed down by 20% wild and direct, he kicked fiercely towards Mu Feng's abdomen with a wicked wind. Mufeng dodged sideways, grabbing the wild kick from his right leg with one hand and trying his best to kick towards the fiercely targeted area. For Mu Feng, a 20% deceleration is like nothing, and Tai Chi is also good at using static braking to counter the opponent. If the enemy doesn't move, I won't move. Once the enemy moves, once they make a move, there will definitely be a loophole. Mu Feng caught this loophole. Soon, a dramatic scene appeared, with a wild and over two dot meter dot high man performing a split on the soul fighting stage. Ah! Uh. Wild couldn't withstand the intense pain in his crotch and screamed in agony. Mufeng didn't pay attention to his screams, turned around and gave an elbow strike, fiercely hitting the wild neck. Wild splits, this height is just enough for the wind to reach his head. This is the continuous attack method of Tai Chi. As long as you find the opportunity, you will face endless attacks. At the same time, it also conforms to Mu Feng's fighting philosophy of taking advantage of your illness and taking your life. Stepping high on the horse. With a fierce wind on his knee, he slammed fiercely into the wild head, making a bitter sound. When Mu Feng's knee left the wild head, it was already bleeding profusely and extremely miserable. The audience below the soul-fighting stage widened their eyes and mouths one by one, unable to believe the immense wildness and desolation that usually occurs. I was beaten by a kid who didn't even use his martial soul, and there was no response. Turning around, moving, blocking, and pounding, Mu Feng turned around and fiercely swept his right fist over the wild head. After this blow, 
the wild iron tower-like body slowly collapsed in a strange posture. Mufan left his hand, he did not kill or maim, wild, and the injuries he created only kept him from getting out of bed for the next year. Although he did not use his martial soul and soul power, he only relied on his physical strength to knock down a high dot level soul master. This achievement is truly terrifying, and it is enough to stand out among peers. Xiao Mu, didn't you kill him? Dai Mubai looked at the wildness on stage. Don't worry, we don't have any grudges, it's just that we won't be able to get out of bed for the next year. Mu Feng explained lightly, turned around and walked towards the lounge. He just wanted to quickly finish another round of 2v2 and leave this noisy place. A year, the other few people repeated in astonishment. Especially Ma Hong Jun, with a worried expression, felt grateful that Mu Feng was his own person. End of this chapter Chapter 10 The Awakening of Iron Blood Combination You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 The Awakening of Iron Blood Combination It's Great to Be Alive Ma Hong Jun looked at the wild being dragged away inside. Rest Room Please gather at the Seventh Soul Fighting Platform as soon as possible, the legendary glass combination. Please pass down the legacy of glass. Let's go, Rome Rome. After finishing the fight, hurry back. Mu Feng immediately stood up and walked out with Ning Rome Rome. Following the Soul Master channel to the Soul Fighting Platform, Mu Feng briefly observed the surroundings. The audience seats on the two-on-two -two side are at least half occupied, and the popularity is better than on the one-on-one -on -one side. Their opponents are already waiting for them on the soul fighting platform. A two-to-two -two soul fighting platform is twice as large as a one-to-one -one platform, after all, the number of soul masters is twice, and it also requires more space for casting. At this moment, the host on stage is announcing the soul master group. In the fifth game of a two-on-two -two match, the Iron Blood team will face the Legacy Glass team. The opponents of Mu Feng and Ning Rongrong are two young people aged 18 or 9, both of whom are leopard-headed and eye-dot catching, with extremely similar appearances. Their physical fitness is not inferior to that of the Iron Horn Bull Soul Master who Xiaowu fought against before. Although they are not naked on their upper body, their thick arms exposed to the outside can also demonstrate their strength. The Iron Blood group rubbed their eyes in disbelief when they saw that there were actually two children on stage. The host was also stunned for a moment, but the battle soul still had to continue. Being able to stand here clearly means having the corresponding level of martial soul. It seems that our legendary glass combination is truly young and promising. The surprise on the faces of the two iron-blooded brothers only appeared for a short time, and they quickly returned to normal, not advancing but retreating, while calmly taking a step back. Even more, they let out a low growl at the same time, and their movements were as neat as those of one person. A rich grey light surged out of their right hand, and the same weapon appeared in their possession at the same time. Hammer. You're a powerful soul master again. Mu Feng looked at the iron blood combination and thought deeply to his martial soul. Rong Rong, you'll stand behind me and buff me later. If you run out of soul power or feel danger, jump off the stage quickly to avoid getting injured, Mu Feng instructed anxiously. Compared to winning the game, he doesn't want to see Rong Rong get injured. Ning Rong Rong gave a playful smile and his heart was as sweet as honey. All right. Brother Mu, why are you so motherly? Don't worry about me, I will jump off the soul fighting platform whenever there is danger. The game is starting. The referee gave a command. The big man on the left said, My name is Tai Long. The big man on the right said, My name is Tai Hu. The two of them shouted in unison, Be careful. The two burly men shouted at the same time, still full of strong pressure. They were walking with almost the same pace, thundering towards Mu Feng and Ning Rong Rong, with their hammers already raised high in their hands. Sharp Blade Impact Six adult arms thick and thin, with chilling cold light, swept towards Iron Dragon and Iron Tiger. 
The sharp blade was divided into two groups of three, piercing through with a force that seemed to pierce through everything. The two brothers immediately raised their hammers to confront. The first soul skill, agitation. The yellow soul ring flashed past and merged into two iron hammers that were close to one person's height, emitting a huge power of oscillation. Dang! Ee! -e. A crisp sound reminded me, followed by the sound of sparks generated by the collision of sharp blades and hammers. With a muffled bang, the two of them separated from the sharp blade at the same time. Big brother, this kid is strange. How can his martial soul impact be so strong? Iron Tiger looked at the tiger's mouth that was injured by the shock and asked helplessly. On the other hand, Mu Foam was panting slightly. Although he had repelled the iron blood combination with his own strength, his soul power was also consumed significantly. If it were just a beast soul master like the wild, Tai Chi would be like Tianka, but these two brothers have a tacit cooperation and are also weapon soul masters, so it is not so easy to win. Rong Rong, quick battle and quick decision. Mu Feng knew that neither of Rong Rong's soul skills had the ability to restore soul power, and this delay was very detrimental to them, so he directly called for Rong Rong's help. Little. Iron Dragon was about to remind him, but before he could finish speaking, a shadow appeared in front of the two of them. The seven treasures are famous, one is power, and the other is speed. Two soul rings rise at the same time, enveloping the seven-colored pagoda. Under the guidance of Ning Rongrong's left hand, two colorful lights are released simultaneously, enveloping Mu Feng's body. Suddenly, a warm energy poured in from all four limbs, and Mu Feng felt that his whole body was full of strength, even his soul power surged up like boiling. Although experiencing the increase in power of the seven treasures glass sect many times, the feeling of this instant increase in power still fascinates Mu Feng. Perhaps this is the strength of the first auxiliary martial soul in the Pan continent. Instant body technique, activate. The already fast teleportation technique, combined with the amplification of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda, can pull out residual shadows without full force, indicating how fast Mu Feng is at this moment. Shuttle left and right. Mu Feng lifted his powerful Tai Chi palms and thrust them out with unparalleled strength, slamming them into the abdomen of the two. At the same time, the system's prompt sound came on. Ding, congratulations to the host. The proficiency level of Tai Chi has reached a perfect level, advancing to the next level and entering the room. The current proficiency level is 8 out of 100. As Tai Chi advanced to the prompt sound, a mysterious message about Tai Chi entered Mu Feng's mind. After a brief review, the most direct improvement of Tai Chi, which has reached the level of enlightenment, compared to the beginner's Tai Chi, is the understanding of Ming Jin. Ming Jin can mobilize more muscle strength, acquire more Tai Chi techniques and moves, and also greatly improve strength. The two brothers got up from the soul fighting platform, ignoring a palm-shaped dent in their abdomen and a strand of blood flowing from the corners of their mouths, and looked at Ning Rongrong's expression in shock. The power and killing power of Tai Chi, which was just a glimpse into the path, were definitely not as great as those that had already reached the level of mastering Ming Jin. Mu Feng nodded secretly. Big brother, this. Seven treasure glass pagoda. Iron Tiger stared blankly at the colorful and luxurious small pagoda in Ning Rongrong's hand. They are two brothers, although their soul power is not high, their qualifications are also at the level of a great soul master after decades, and they belong to the lowest level of soul masters in the soul master world. But these don't mean they don't know this magnificent and noble little tower. Mufen remained motionless on the side, watching the shocked expressions of the two brothers. Suddenly, he became interested and eagerly anticipated how the two brothers would make their decision. Yes, bow down without offending the powerful Seven Treasures Glass sect, power. Or is it for the victory of soul fighting and the glory of defeating the soul master of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda? Tai Long looked at the small tower in Ning Rongrong's hand and then at Mu Feng who was still beside him, as if he understood Mu Feng's intention. 
he knew that Mu Fong was waiting for his answer. Iron Dragon exhaled a deep breath, as if he had made a major decision in his heart. Looking at his younger brother, who had already had some wrinkles smoothed out by life, Iron Dragon's face was impassioned and he said, Huzi, what about the assistance of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda? It's not invincible. When we first became soul masters, our soul power was only one level in eight. Didn't we make bold promises to become a powerful soul master? Now comes the opportunity. Defeat a powerful soul master assisted by the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda, isn't this our childhood wish? At the end, Iron Dragon's final words even turned into a hoarse shout. Brother. You still remember after all these years. Iron Tiger was already in tears. Men don't shed tears lightly, they just haven't reached the point of sadness. Yeah. Who doesn't have a dream yet? But the helplessness and cruelty of reality continue to impact time and time again. This dreamy dream wants you to give up, but if you give up, there is no chance left. Sometimes, if you don't put in a fight, why don't you know? The corners of the eyes of the audience couldn't help but moisten. Dai Mubai looked at Zhu Zhuqing beside him, and coincidentally, his cold eyes, which were always cold, also met him. In the complex gazes of the two, there was a cruel family competition, the madness and helplessness in despair, the rise and fall of the empire, and more. The newly risen hope. Tang San thought of the unforgettable Tang clan and turned to Xiao Wu, who was holding a comb and softly calling out to his mother, silently shedding tears. He hugged Xiao Wu, who couldn't help but cry, in his arms. A new idea lingered in his heart. He wants to recreate the glory of the Tang clan on this continent. Ma Hongjun remembered when he awakened his martial soul, the soul master of the martial soul hall mercilessly mocked him, saying that he was a chicken he clenched his small fist and swore that he would become stronger and be worthy of the name Evil Fire Phoenix. Even Fran, who has always had a cunning expression on his face, was touched by a fragile string in his heart he thought of the invincible, waste materials, and his, goddesses, that he encountered when he was young. The golden iron triangle that used to have endless scenery. The two brothers wiped away the tears from the corners of their eyes, leaving behind the dreams of the strong. The two of them suddenly changed their aura, and a powerful force erupted, Soul Lord. Thank you for waiting, little brother. It has also helped us overcome so many years of obstacles. We hope you can show your true strength and compete with us to fulfill our long dot standing wish. Strangely, two people apparently speak at the same time, but they seem to be made by one person. Their voices are neat and uniform, even the subtle tones are the same. Spiritual Integration Mu Feng and Tang San's body under the stage trembled slightly. Watching the subtle changes in the two brothers on stage, Tang San suddenly thought of a talent that the master had once talked about. Spiritual Fusion, which is an extremely rare talent ability. Most of them are brothers, sisters, brothers and sisters who are related by blood, which is different from the martial spirit fusion technique. It refers to the fusion of two people's mental states. The spiritual integration achieved during this period, the thoughts and five senses of the two are interconnected, and the thoughts and five senses of either person will be known to the other at the same time. Although this talent lacks attack power, it doubles the overall strength of Iron Dragon and Iron Tiger, who have already achieved seamless cooperation. This state will make their cooperation flawless, because he is me and I am him. End of this chapter